Hello everybody and welcome to the Sunday show. It's gonna be a bit of a hobby show today, I think. I got tons to work on. Because, you know, it never ends. Uh because I I know weeks ago I said I finished rebasing all the armies. And then uh I completely this I feel bad about this. I completely forgot about the vampire counts. Um I just yeah, they've been sitting there on the old bases. So I've been working on them this weekend. Uh, Luca helped out quite a bit getting them ripped off their old bases. Scott Warren, Drew Soul, James, how's it going, everybody? So yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, probably do a little bit of hobbying whilst we um, whilst we chat today, just to stay on schedule. There's a bunch of stuff I want to get painted this weekend, uh, as well as I want the entire Tomb King. Uh, sorry, the entire Vampire Count Army. Try to rip over a bottle of water. Try to get the entire Vampire Count Army rebased today. Hey, quick question, is the movement tray for the old world available in Europe? I would assume so. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you're talking about the mini Wargaming Forge ones? They ship around the world. I'm pretty sure. Don't take my word on that. I haven't, uh, I haven't ordered for from another content away before. Anybody else ever order for, from the uh, mini Wargaming Forge.com from Europe? Dylan, I'm doing fantastic. I've seen the GDW Modular Movement Tray sets in stores here. I have six boxes of those sitting on my coffee table right now. I'll never use I, I've I've used them for decades. I'll never use them again. I like the 3D printable ones. My both my printers are printing bases like crazy. I recorded a um I rebased my um Chaos Source. On the new, like the, um, not the sand, um, maybe where we can forge bases, but the uh, cobblestone ones. And I really love the cobblestone bases. So now I'm all like gung ho to finish painting all the chaos doors. But I gotta stay on schedule. Happy Sunday. I finally have 2K orcs finished. Beautiful. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for um, the goblins to be purchased separately, like be sold separately. Everything from the Tomb King and Bretonian army set is sold separately, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, go for it, go, buddy. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for the goblins to be sold, and I need more goblin wolf riders. That thinking hat is a game changer. What do you make the best chaos movie story in the old world? You have so much rebase. What? What do you make of Beast of Chaos moving solely to the old world? Um, I, I think um, if you've been paying attention, you knew that was coming. There were strong rumors um, like two years ago that they were leaving the uh, Age of Sigma range. Like it, it, The writing was on the wall. Um, the, the, the fact that Bone Splitters uh, are gone, like nothing, nothing, nothing was even remotely shocking to me. I think I think they're just going to move those to the fantasy lines. That's what I've been trying No, to that's play. exactly what's happening. <laughs> Let me just put my headphones on. Chris Oli, I got a new Gnome Blood Bowl team champion. <laughs> it's true. Why do you think Lances can't be used in fallback and good order? Uh, because the new FAQ says you can't. Well. You know what? I'll talk about that in a second. Actually, let me just finish this conversation about uh, uh, the old world models. The amount of damage control, I guess I should say, that I've been doing, or with about the age of Sigmar now, it's just like they're not discontinuing; they're they're revamping. It's... That's the thing, too, right? Now, um, click people. The... can do with a few less characters. Let's be real; they they they're, their range could shrink. A bit. Amen, brother. <laughs> we have spoons in chat today, so um, we have people complaining forever that the Stormclash line is too bloated and now it gets cut. Now, the thing is, we've already seen Liberators get new models. It's not like you can't use those models. The Sequiturs, you can use them as Liberators. Um, I bet you there's going to be another self, like a new version of the Ballista. All those characters Probably. being gone are fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not overly... like. It, I would wait and see what comes up for, for um, uh the Stormcast when they get re-released. Now, now if you had a bone, if you bought a bone splitter army recently and you didn't see the writing on the wall, that's kind of on you. I don't mean to be harsh about it. Like, 
everything everything that everything that was Warhammer Fantasy is getting appears to be getting completely phased out of Age of Sigmar to the point where I just assembled well Jackson did it for me. I just assembled two more Bastilodons and Stegatrons for my Lizardmen. I'm putting them on the converter basis. So I can play both games, but I full I'm I fully expect that the Seraphim to get a new Stegadon kit sometime soon. Now soon is relative. I don't expect that model to stay forever. Everything seems to be getting re- everything that was old fantasy is getting replaced. It looks like. And you know that's I'm not complaining about that. I mean they're doing the same thing to 40k like as. As books come out for both games now, we're just going to get, I'd, I'd say, four or five kits, including a name character, per release. Yeah. Uh, George Judy, remember 22 months of Big Supporter. Steve, would it be possible to do a list show on the army boxes? How to build them out? That's a fantastic idea. And auto include next units to add, I think, for 20 units. Well, so next week, um, Next week, I got something planned, and I don't want to say just get something pulls through, but um, maybe we'll turn this stream into that. I'm thinking Bretonians, but it could be good for all four. We have three. I guess we have four. Yeah, we have we, have, we do the contents of the fourth. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. I played four games while world over the weekend with a new player. We worked him up from three total defeats to a solid draw. Nice, Kyle. That's actually good. That's solid progress for a weekend. What are the odds that Sigmar gets a unit of warrior priest of full plater and the Arcane General? Yeah, they'll probably be like um like described as being in golden clad armor, like full plate, but bigger and taller and imbued with the power of Sigmar. Pro- probably. I think it can because you only need to charge in power, not a primer. No, kill gun. Um what's that? Yeah, exactly. Kill gun. Can you uh, go ahead and re- go go to the weapon section of the- you know what? I'll do it for it real quick for you. I already have it open. I think I have hot keys. Does this button do it? No, it doesn't. This one does it. This button does it. Um, I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm indifferent. No, I'm not indifferent. I have, I have my, I have my bias on which way I want this to go. Actually, um, lances right here. In subsequent turns, or if you're not, not charging. That's for when you get charged. The model must use its hand weapon instead. And the FAQ made it clear when you do a fallback, when when your enemy does a fallback in good order and you pursue your knights, it's the same combat. You don't get hatred, and it's the subsequent turn of combat. So you don't get your lances, as is my interpretation. Now, I was, at, at, at one point during this conversation, like this whole thing about the lance, I was indifferent. I didn't care which way I get ruled. Um, I think Games Workshop needs to be clear about it because it's very confusing. Um, but I believe it's better for the game that the lances don't keep working. I, like, cause cavalry units are kind of OP, just constantly first turn you charge break, they fall back in order and you keep on doing it. You're, you're literally over like charging them on their turn over and over and over again, lance bonuses over and over and over again, uh, until they're off the table. Whereas they're, in every previous edition, this is a bad argument. I'm just going to make it though. In every previous edition of Warhammer Fantasy, um, cavalry charged you once, tried to break you. If they didn't break you, they got stuck in with their hand weapons until somebody came to support them. Now, now I'm going I'm to counter my own argument. Well, the fact that everything is effectively stubborn makes it a little bit more difficult than before. But I do believe the game is better um, without the lance being used over and over and over again. Now, I want to be clear, I, I, I've i used pure cavalry lists like crazy. I think they're very, very strong. Probably too strong. Uh, not game-breakingly strong, so if it gets ruled that you can use lances all the time, I'm not, no big deal. It's all good. Uh, the game is still very good, very playable. I don't think it breaks knights. And if it's ruled that they can't, I think it's probably better for the game, but that's my opinion, and uh, if you just bought into Bretonians, you're not going to agree with that opinion. <laughs> How's it going, Dale? How did this horse hear she on YouTube? My God, Demon Ace. So, okay, here's what, here's a thought I had. I was going to put this out there to the community, and I'll do it right now. And uh, I, I wasn't good. Hey, look, if, if anybody is in the area or relatively local to the area, meaning if you're willing to come to me 
once a week. I will put you on payroll and we'll do a heresy battle report every week. I don't think I can make enough money to pay for the person, let alone my time. I can throw away my time. I love what I do, so it's all good. I don't think I can make enough money with heresy to to uh, pay for the other person, which sucks because I freaking love that game. So I think what we have to keep in mind at this point is the Warhammer YouTuber market has become so saturated. Amen. That every th- every channel is a specialist now. So Demonist, you're not going to see looking in the conventional places. You're not going to see Horus Heresy as much because now instead of a Warhammer channel, like Mount Minters is an old world channel. Yeah. The other yeah. place could be a, a, a fantasy channel, 40k channel, Sigmar. Like everyone does one thing, and that's all they do. We we we, we talked about this a few weeks ago, and my channel has always been everything, and um. I think it makes it appears very strongly to make sense to, to focus on one, uh, the old world. Now, granted, I will be doing Age of Sigmar again this this summer because I want to see how we feel. I'm about a new it. edition drop might as well. You got it. If, if people bite, please read the FAQ again if possible. I'll do it again once I can kill team or kill gun. Um, yeah, uh, somebody mentioned that. Mute Nico and some other people when you do that uh, Age of Sigmar. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> some people have already gotten warnings. <laughs> um. Somebody mentioned, I, sorry, I missed it. I'm reading the live chat. Um, there's a lot of videos of heresy. No, there is. There's still a lot of channels doing heresy. But it there the heyday was the end of first edition, where there were tons of heresy videos. Uh, now there's just significantly less. And then to that, the the overall amount of, like you go to Social Blade, how many views heresy was getting um, back then to now is significantly less. And I don't, and people still love it. Like, don't get me wrong. Heresy, I think, is a fantastic game. Um, I, I'm i a man of strong opinions. Surprise, surprise, you've all heard me say a lot of things. I generally have, I can't say exactly why um, Heresy isn't doing as well as I'd like it to be doing. I know in North, I, in North America it seems to be doing worse than in Europe. Um, but in my experience, everybody who came to play Heresy 2.0 uh, didn't buy anything. They just used their stuff from the first edition, and then well, that's ev- that's the problem with the, yeah it, it, getting support right there. Is everyone has it. Yeah. So the, and then, and then a, a bunch of product sold for Heresy two point at, at my local store in a lot of stores. A bunch of products sold, but um, those guys didn't stick around. So. Yeah, I just uh, unfortunately still I got I I I have to run this like a business. I have to make my decisions financially uh, so I can keep doing this. I love what I freaking do. <laughs> uh, what do you recommend to see a product miniatures your finished painting? Okay, so it depends on where you live. Uh, Shun? Sean? 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 <laughs> depends on where you live. So I live I live in Ontario. I live in Niagara Falls, and it's going to be the awesome eclipse tomorrow for us. Um, I live in between, right in between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. Um, like, like it is stupid humid here in the summer to the point where I, I love in the winter. I love games, workshops, purity seal spray cans. I cannot use those in the summer. I get about four to five months out of the year. I can use the, the, the spray can, um, because in the summer, it just, it, they frost every model over. It's too humid. Uh, so I use my airbrush. I use, uh, Vallejo's satin. Most, mo- honestly, most, um, Airbrush uh, sealers work great for me. Native campaigns are coming, Demon Ace. Matthew is... Matthew is switch. Oh, I don't want to talk for Matthew. I think he announced it, but Matthew switch- A lot of narrative campaigns are coming uh, and cross over to this channel. Uh, a ton of resources and money have already gone in to pre-set up. I've, I don't know if the whole map has shown off yet, but like, there's a whole map of the old world. It has. It wasn't it's been, gone into detail, but it's been in the background of a lot of it. I, I actually just saw it for the first time a couple days ago. If you like horse here, see SN better ports is like eighty percent. Yeah, I know SN's fantastic. SN's the the last bash, the last chip, and keeping it going. I love those guys. I wish they weren't so far away. No one, welcome to Peak Supporters. I'd super appreciate that. Or Seriously 2.0 is a great game. I love 2.0. I, I, I love the first edition. 
What do you think about the Squires of Bretonia? Are they mostly a throwaway unit? Yeah, but in a good way, Killgun. I actually really like the Squires. I bought two blisters of everything for the Squires. I probably bought too many, but I love the Squires. But also, there's a lot of, like, old nostalgia. Oh, yeah, the FAQ. Um, let me just... All right, I can't see chat for a second as I go and check the FAQ. I'm kind of disappointed about this wave of FAQ because uh, Middle Earth got touched and my boy, the Dragon Emperor, went up by 30 points. Oh, that's a lot of points. <laughs> He's a 200-point model now. I have to paint a bunch of Middle Earth for Luca today, or this weekend. He, uh, Luca loves that game. We would cover that as well if we could what, just what break even. Are you, are you paying for him? I'm painting some uh, orcs and uh, some more Gondor for him. So like, I have okay. to do some. I have to do two Ballista and their crew. Um, some new named character, something the black I think on a horse. Okay. And then um, a couple other uh, like I, had to, I 3D printed like an orc banner because you can't find these models, right? Yeah. No. Uh, what page was the Lance the the the, the fighting FAQ? I'm man? still waiting. For my maid to order Dead of Dunharo in the clear turquoise plastic to come, and they haven't sent those yet. Kill gun, do me a favor, just tell me which page and paragraph to go to so I don't have to spend forever. Alan Cotton, how's it going, brother? How are the chores coming? Um, I hey, Ben, how's it going, buddy? I um, I'm I found some old black orcs that I'm currently stripping to paint, um, for my chaos horse. I have all my infantry assembled and primed. I have all the models assembled and primed. I have to just uh, find... I was hoping to do them this weekend, but we got to probably get pushed off the next weekend or the weekend after. Uh, all the Chaos doors are ready to go for painting at this point, except um, <clears throat> I have to print the Hobgoblins because I love the look of the Hobgrots from Major Sigmar, but they don't have the right equipment. So I have to 3D print some old uh, Goblins. For me, Harrison needs some balance passes. There's still, yeah, but every game, yeah, I agree. The game, every game will always need some balance passes. Page two under front of combat. Okay. Uh, page two. And a little, little secret. If you want more balancing, spend more money on it. Because yeah, but like what, one man can't make <laughs> one man can't make a difference. <laughs> no, no, no. One can no, but as a community, maybe don't use the the. Uh, 3D prints you got from China 10 years ago. That's a thing, too. Like, okay, I know for a fact that everybody... <clears throat> man, everybody coming in... No, I shouldn't say that. I know a great deal of you have uh, 3D printed and or recast armies. And uh, Harrison made no money because of that. Um, <laughs> Where's it here? If my if a unit loses a round of combat and either gives ground or falls back in good order, can you choose a different weapon? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I think the only line that's relevant here, Killgun, is, in other words, the combat is ongoing, and neither unit has a time to stow, blah, blah, blah. The combat is ongoing. The combat is ongoing. The combat is ongoing. Go back to Lance's. And right here, in the subsequent turns, if the wielder or the not charge, uh, they must use hand weapon. So the combat is ongoing, the next turn of combat using hand weapon. That is what i believe is accurate and you do not have to play it that way you can play it any way you want uh sugar water purple tomb kings pain up stupid fast hey alan kyle middleton yeah. black dry brush bone you, you're almost done <laughs> if a Victorian lance is charged in the front by a cavalry unit and infantry unit if a counter charge of the cavalry is the lance blunted oh no no it's not i don't gotta look it up uh, because you only get blunted if you didn't charge and you did charge. Oh. Interesting. Wait, I'm gonna look something up for you on that one. Uh, Sugar Water Purple. Thinking about getting Tomb King's box, I already have the massive POS. Boons? POS? I couldn't figure out what he was saying there either. <laughs> Basically, he's pretty cool. they, uh, they painted. Okay. Uh, Sugar Water Purple. I have a massive, massive Tomb King army, um, assembled. On base is the first time I've ever to paint an army on bases already. Uh, I will, when I get to that army, which shouldn't be too far away, I'll show you how fast I'm going to paint a massive army of Tomb Kings. I've already bought all the rattle cans I need. So basically, I'm going to, I have this dark brown, ochre brown. I'm going to prime the whole army in, every square inch of it. And then I'm going to Zenith, I'll prime it again with a bone color. And then I'm going to airbrush white on the faces and the very top, like, bright parts. 
that's 90% of the work. So, the only thing that could slow anyone down playing Tomb King is if you get bogged down doing all the uh, the blue and red. I have to check the Bretonian thing file here. Because my gut may not be accurate. Let's see the wording on. This might come down to intent too, Kyle. But we'll see. Uh, blunting the lance. Oh, no, no, you're good. So, yeah, no, um, because you performed a charge, Kyle, you're not blunted. Does anybody disagree with that interpretation? So, it says if you get charged, uh, but you cannot or did not perform a counter charge, you're blunted. So, yeah, you know, you're good. I'm, I'm very, very confident saying you are not blunted if you are charged by a cavalry unit and infantry unit and you choose a counter charge. Have you sent an FAQ question? Yeah, Games Workshop is, uh, I have, I have no idea what's happening. I keep hearing inklings that there's going to be an FAQ soon. But I don't know. I want to start a chore for me so bad. Can't find miniatures. You have to 3D print them, Andrew. There are a lot of really good 3D prints. How would you start a wood elf armor for the old world? I wouldn't right now. Well, no, if I want to right now, <coughs> I'd, <fu> I'd, um, I'd start with a tree man themed army. Uh, cause you can buy all the Age of Sigmar, like Kronoth hunters and dryads and all that kind of, and tree men and make that your army. Now, uh, you could convert or 3D print the five glade guard you need, or you could ask your opponent, hey, do you mind if I don't bring the five Glade Guard I'm required to have on my list? And every, I, most people are going to say yes. I think right now the only way to start Wood Elves is to do that uh, until they get their re-release. And then you're good to go. If I 3D print them, then I'm not in GW Shops. Oh, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Well, I'll say you made my chaos store for me for ten thousand dollars. No, I wouldn't be really in that dark party for that. <laughs> Would you make special templates for the vortex markers? In fact, Kilgun, I don't know if you're doing a leading question, but um, we already have. Well, sorry, mini wargaming, mini wargamingforge dot com. Oh no, they're not there yet. Oh, uh, we have templates. We have a prototype. Uh, for for uh all the vortex vortices. Oh, uh, they're not they're not in their shop yet, but we will uh, sell them soon. I bet Woodles get a tree army of infantry. I hope they do, Gage. But every time I've uh, had speculation on army of infantry, I, I've been wrong, except for the Slayer one, which we don't have a confirmation that we're getting. But I guess we would be. Actually, I'm starting to reconsider standards of my zombies. Units aren't forty man. What do, what are your standard, Kyle? I'm thinking thirties. Well. I'm thinking 38 most. No. 35. You don't, you don't need to be seven wide with zombies. $10,000 candy hours. Wow, that's a discount because I'm paying yours. <laughs> no, I can't give up my army. I love it too much. <laughs> I was rebasing my tree man ancient today. And it'll just fit in a fifth. Yeah, yeah. The f the front arc is a small one. I think it's generally accepted that the 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 first printed number is the front arc. Uh, for every model in the game, it appears that the smaller number is printed first, with the exception of like the uh, Tomb King's Tomb Scorpion, where it's not printed fifty by seventy five; it's printed seventy five by fifty. So, and then the pictures all show it. On that orientation, which makes sense to me. Is it one buyer all that's by each of us? Oh, I have no idea, Kilglen. I have no idea what they're gonna do with that. Did the Dawi get the Arcane Journal yet? No, it got announced. I wouldn't expect it. What are they? I would expect it in June. M m maybe May.
I had the same problem with my um not that it was intended by Games Workshop, but with uh as Agnes Slaughter. He uh he's on the base, but he, he's kind of sitting sideways. I have to like point out which way his front is. Let's we'll see how well I can rip off some of these old bases. That guy's not coming off easy. Sounds right around the same time 4th edition AOS released. Um, hey. Yeah, well. Are there, has anybody heard the rumors that, like, maybe um, Underworlds and Silver Tower might get discontinued? Oh, uh, I don't play those games, so I apologize if you guys earned those games and you like them. I want that to happen. I want Games Workshop to reduce their skews. I'm I, one man, I, I can't can keep see up. Underworlds getting discontinued. You can see or you can't see? I can. Because, I mean, the model range can just as easily be used in Warcry, and that seems to be more successful. All right, hot take. I want Kill Team to go away as well. I just want to like like. I'm not, I'm not big on Kill Team, and what I don't like is that what keeps Kill Team selling is them continually to put unnecessary 40k models yes. in that line. Yeah, no, that's 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 a big part of why they're doing their own numbers. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's better to have. Like, I, I, I want, I want more time to come back. Like, I'm biased. So I want what I want, not the things I, I don't have time for. Like, Necromunda is a big game in my area. And I think it's a damn. Ooh, I think it's a damn good game. I can't. I just can't. I don't have time for it. I cannot get Necromunda. So, I don't care if they discontinue it. Uh, but like, I just want. I want less things distract me on the periphery. Because, like, Games Workshop for decades ran a fantasy game, a sci-fi game, well, first fantasy game and this type of game, and then their specialist games were just derivatives of. And and now all their specialist games have become, like, really good, objectively good, fleshed-out games. And now we have Warhammer 40k, The Horus Heresy, The Old World, Age of Sigmar, Middle Earth, also called flagship games. Yeah. I want them to cut back their ancillary games enough or torture or whatever you call that they could keep everything in stock that's the that, that's that's a that's a big reason right like when i was working on my ultramarines i i had to like buy secondhand land raiders and stuff because they were out of stock for like forever i uh i had to get I almost sold my guard because i got tired of waiting for chimeras to come in yeah <laughs> i had to get people from the uk well stormbolter in particular order me stuff for the old world because it's out of stock here in north america right away okay i'm in my area yeah exactly you have to receive any old world at all really what seriously i just processed that yeah i'm uh like in a general area a few hours north of johnny Payne and a little bit more from glacial geek like i'm in that area but like, yeah, I. So there's a distribution center in Memphis that froze over like four months ago for a little bit, and we've received nothing since. So there's like five shops in the area. Well, well okay, hold on. If you were order from the, the web store, will you get what you need? I get what I need, yeah. Okay. But like this, like they haven't. They have an old world. I haven't checked. I haven't checked for that because it's never in. You know what I'm looking for is never in stock. <laughs> But like your store can't get it, but you can get it if you order from the, if you order it. Yeah, which is a weird thing. Like, I know they've solved the distribution problem, but no, all the stores in the area have not been able to get a hold of Old World. GW can afford to pay more writers. They're just limited on production at the moment, and that should be their main focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know all the inner workings perfectly. I wonder if they're getting close to the point where if these are. Consolidating model lines doesn't work. 
if they're going to consider opening up another uh, manufacturing facility. Oh, that's the next logical step. Not that my opinion here People means will anything. I'm not a greatly about that because it'll be a there'll be price increases to, to go along with it. How do you feel about Balthy Gotham? Is is there any evidence Balthy Gotham is coming back? Did I get the new horse racing campaign? When's the, well, I don't even know when the last campaign book came out. Um, if Games Workshop doesn't send it to me, I don't even know about it. So if one came out, they didn't send it to me, and I don't know about it. Is there any actual evidence of Balthy Gothic coming out? I'm, I'm, all my Balthy Gothic is for sale. Nobody will buy it. <laughs> Remember the list review last week? I played the two against each other my, by myself. <laughs> and the Widow Smash the Warriors. Nice! What else have always done well against Warriors of Chaos? Um, I'm just going to say something real fast. You say it, please. If you guys are just going to keep nonsensically hating on games that other people in the community enjoy, I'm just going to start putting in timeouts. I'm, I'm oh, really yeah, who's doing that? It. This is, this is, there's been a couple this stream, but this is, this is the warning. Yeah, like, like it is, it is okay I'm, I'm to express to doing the same in the Discord. I got. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll, 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 I will, I will continue to do this. It is okay to express your uh, dislike of things, but there are two things that are kind of. I'm done with like the the um. If you have something to criticize Games Workshop about, go ahead. There's you do plenty wrong. We made, I'm just we tired made of a the, special channel just for that. Yeah, okay. and we did actually. I'm just tired of the indiscriminate Games Workshop is the devil. Like I just don't care. Like I don't. I, it's boring. It's like it's like we've done this for thirty years. Um, and then, but that was just more like I roll my eyes. But the 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 hate that Age of Sigmar gets every time I bring it up, I find it beyond childish. It's okay to just like it. It's not for you. It doesn't have to be for you. But like let's let's. Well, Matthew, I'm going to call out your name there. That's everyone's defense every time they do it. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> I don't know what you did, Matthew. I don't know what you did, but you pissed off the spoons. <laughs> I, what you, what you say? I think get rid of AOS. I've been getting That's DMs the about people feeling targeted over this stuff, so that's why I'm bringing it up. No, I don't know. Okay, look at <laughs> um, um, There have been weird topics that pop up from time to time in the Discord. I'm like, okay, shut that down. That could be a little offensive. Like, whatever. I know you're probably joking, whatever. But the only one that I really get people message me about is, like, they're tired of, like, the, the AOS 8. And I get it. Yeah. I like the game, too. Well, no, I no, don't they, like they the are... first edition of the game. It was bad. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, they are trimming down that line a bit. So you, you are getting that wish there. <laughs> I didn't bring a knife to do this. Why do you think they... Wait, but they do need to stop making so many Sigmarines. Yeah, true. I, I do agree with you. I think that's... I think that's in the plan. I think they're working can I, on that. Now. Can, I, can I defend? No, because I'm going to sound like a fanboy. I don't want to do that. Can I give a, a possible alternate theory of what's happening? No, it's not an alternate theory. I think it's very likely. Look, they spent years trying specialist games and developing things and uh, models to put in White Dwarf and little extra here, a little extra there, a little campaign book, little models, mm -hmm. and they, they, they threw spaghetti at the wall at 15 different directions. And, and it looks, is it reasonable to assume they said, hey, you know what, we're having trouble uh, keeping these products on the shelf. We can't do it. Too, oh, that's we, we, too many things. what they're doing. Yeah, they're so doing. now we have to rein it in. And you know what, what what didn't get sold a whole lot? Sequidors. Uh, they got sold, they, uh, there was, they were sold at one point, but they haven't produced them in forever. They're not on the shelf yeah. anymore. Uh, they can be used as liberators. Like there's like a, I don't think it's always like people just always just go right to malice when it could be like, oh, we this was a mistake and now we have to correct, or I mean, this didn't sell now we have to correct. Because <laughs> I mean, look at, look at look at their production. They could have, they could make five of these, five of these, and five of those, or they could just make fifteen of these and have it in stock. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just sometimes it's just it's just not malice, guys. Like, I I I. I I recognize that if an army I played for Age of Sigma, if I was a bone splitter player, I would be upset. Um, I'm not upset because I expected this to come. Also, I'm also a old world player, so there's not a net loss for me. Like, okay, I tell you this, I um I've been I've been in the hobby for several decades, th three of them. 
I've been doing battery ports and um, playing nonstop for the last 10 years. Now, my favorite game of all time, of all these games, is Warhammer Fantasy, many variations of. But my favorite gaming experience, the most fun I've ever had of all these games, was in 2nd Edition Age of Sigmar when I was playing my Beast of Chaos. Now, was it my favorite game? No, absolutely not. I uh, My hierarchy back then was still Fantasy, 40k, Sigmar. Oh, Fantasy, Heresy, 40k, Sigmar. But um, it wasn't my favorite game, but it, I, it was the time I remember having the most fun whilst gaming. I love my Beast of Chaos. If I had my Beast of Chaos army on round bases and they said they're just going to discontinue it um, and I didn't have, I didn't love Old World, didn't have a place to take it, I would be very upset. So I'm lucky that, like, Bone Splitters, I, uh, look at uh, the Bone Splitter stuff, I went to the studio mini war gaming and said, hey, all your Bone Splitter stuff, can I put it on square bases? And right away, Josh was like, no, I'm still going to use it until 2025. I'm like, fine, that's fair. So, like, I, I, it's not a net negative for me because I love the square base game. But I definitely understand being upset about that. I'm not trying to end on anybody, anybody's feelings. But at the same time, I even said to Josh, "Come on, buddy, you should you know better than you to spend a bunch of money on models that were used to be on square bases." But yeah, I had a lot of fun playing Beast of, Beast, Beast of Chaos on in Second Edition. I enjoy Kill Team; it's easy and cheap to play. Yeah, see, Alan, I have a thing with Kill Team. I I mean, it's a good game, but if I'm going to spend time and money on 40k models, I'm going to play 40k. They now, need I, to uh, take the war cry approach with how they come out with their models, where it's not it's not stuff you need like for for the your 40k line. Like like the scouts is probably the most egregious example recently. <laughs> that's not coming off. Scouts. Oh my god, having to wait for the kill team, but like. That's padding the numbers of kill team just to buy scouts. Christopher Clayton, I will accept pretty much any model range decision as long as there's lower reason for it to the point of gullibility. Well, that's the thing, Christopher. You can create a lower reason for anything. <laughs> oh. These are decisions are always about, financially based. With them talking about splitting the Age of Sigmar and Old World lines, Fair the on. reason they're pulling Beastmen and Bone Splitters again, I think they're moving them to the Old World lines. The reason they're doing that is so they have accurate market data because if, if beastmen are selling, that's that's going to the Age of Sigmar numbers. Yeah. Well, so it makes old world look like it's underperforming and Age of Sigmar look like it's overperforming when in reality they're doing par, for example. <laughs> I wonder how much truth there is to that. We'll see based on how much they yeah, bring probably, back, right? <laughs> you're probably right. Well, no, didn't, didn't the article say that the Beastmen are getting repackaged for the old world? Like, oh, our, 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 I, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Bone Splitters is, is the, uh, I'm speculating. Oh, Christopher. Yeah, fair play, brother, Christopher. <laughs> Did again, Bone Splitters, you're... And that's not, I'm speculating that one, but the Beastmen, like, that's a whole army you're cutting out, so that's definitely the, going somewhere. The Bone Splitters is, 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 is just two model kits and some characters. That's gonna be yeah, super so like I said, they can just either cut it out completely or re-release it in old world packaging like, during like you know some saturday pre-order thing <laughs> for ages sigmar I, i'm i'm sorry dr veeks i don't have a bullspit armor I, i'm glad to see them go i want to see the last remnants of fantasy separating from sigmar like it's it's um it's the last army that didn't well is it another one it's, it's one of the last armies that didn't look right like the rest of the age of sigmar mm -hmm. stuff hello zero how's it going zero hello I saw you waiting. I figured I'd bring you. <laughs> you're wait. Hold on, Brian. You're Brian, right? I am. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody's got 15 names. <laughs> How's it going, brother? Yeah. yeah. I should look into like universal branding. Oh, I can I mean, put I a nickname simple. for you. When I met everyone at the mini war game with Adepticon, I went, "Hi, I'm Spoons." <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake not to go to Adepticon. Big mistake. I knew it too. Yeah, never been. I'll have to go to one of these. Games. It's, it's a lot of fun. Let, this year was my first year, and I'm definitely going again. It was worth it. Someone researched in the Games Workshop, and they are definitely separate PL sheets. Yeah, yeah, I, we, that's known. Uh, fire, wait, Flyerfly. 
If a line has been updated since the start of Sigmar, move on, move it back. To, that's that's it. That's I agree fully. Fate Stay Dreamer, thank you for getting ten Mountain Miniatures memberships. Super appreciate that, brother. Alan Cotton, you remember again, Mr. Snake Cake, Firefly. No, wait, no, no, sorry, Firefly. You just chatted it in between all the names getting their gift. <laughs> Peter Miller, Gorfung, Rob S, Michael Maurer, and Jeff. No, and Zaxon. And ANS, wow. Well, and now I can bother Steve in Discord again. And hey, <laughs> you get a lot of games in Face Day. No, I'm gonna be excited for uh, finally rebasing my fell bats to match the unified ba base, uh, basing scheme, but then to replace the the stems with some clear ones. I have these black primed ones for forever like ah, i'm an idiot <laughs> i gotta drill new holes i'm not looking forward to dealing with more of the clear stems when i get around to painting my uh heavy locust destroyers oh <sighs> i'm still on my necron army you are yeah, too many. Um, What's the color scheme? Is it silver and blue, or what? It's it? silver, or like you do box art? It's, no, no, no. It's uh, it's brass green. and red. Oh, brass and red. Okay. Ooh. I was gonna say because if it matches close enough, I'd look at it. <laughs> I just I I have um, I get too much stuff, and I need more uh, more resources for the old world. That's fair. <laughs> Vaguely useful. Come on, man. There's no point trying to save those stems. <laughs> Yes, it, it does take uh sometimes it can take up to twenty four hours, Alan Cotton, for Discord to like to, when you link your account in the Discord. Uh, sometimes it's immediate, so just keep trying. So all you new members, you can join the Discord. If you go to your perks tab, you'll be able to see a link to join the Discord now. Demon Ace, I'd assume we might get some character revamps, but I think for the most part, it's gonna be all the old models, the old scopes. With Beastmen and Bone Splitters getting cold, do you think Sylvanets is probably next due to a large amount of their line being shared with the old world? So possibly, but possibly not. Um, the only thing that the the only thing that the um, Sylvanets use are the Dryads and the Treemen, and the Treemen were made so late in the Warhammer Fantasy game that the you might as well have called them Age of Sigmar models. They've had literally, I think, six months, maybe a year of time as old world models. Well, maybe it was a little longer. All right. Do you feel like talking yeah, to Alan? All right, yeah, Alan. Alan, right, if you want to come in, you got to be, you got to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Spoons. You saw my message. Uh, someone else got to you first or Discord updated it because you had by the time I looked. All right, yeah. it's going to be one of those streams now, everybody. Alan's here. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you see my message I posted earlier, Steve? Or I think it got overdone by the uh, no. me being able to come in here. I no, said, do you, you remember I... that guard list? Yeah, I did. Oh no! Do sorry, you remember the guard it. list I sent to you that you shit all over? Uh, no, the but does... which begins? I don't remember that, but that does sound like me, and that does sound like yeah. you. Well, it's because it was two punishers, uh huh, two vanquishers, uh huh, uh, a shadow blade, uh huh. Lord Leonidas, yeah, and two basilisks. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd beat that every time. <laughs> I know, but it still sounds fun, though, right? For me, when I'm winning. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play it against you when I finally get there one day. Maybe <laughs> never. Maybe one day, never. Just so we can have it on the Mountain Minister channel and be like, "This is why you don't listen to Alan." We, we yeah we need more evidence why we don't listen to Alan. That's right. I need to make sure to submit my stupidity in the annuals of history, Steve. I hope <laughs> they never take all the Bane kits off of the. Warrior I kit. really hope they don't either, too, because that because really I need the picture angry. references because I got a magnetized one, so I need to see what it needs to look. That's like. right. <laughs> which one's which? Look, I'm sorry, but I love the what is it? Shadow Sword. It's the one that's like. It's just like a flat 16 damage or something like that. I have to look it up again. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, the volcano cannon. Yeah, the, yeah. It's just it just makes me so happy to see that. 
Do you think Those AOS line like slashing them. was uh, because some of this reported old world? Yeah, that that's for sure. Storm fiends. Yeah, there's another example. Oh, almost everything. Storm fiends. Did anything come Storm out fiends. in the end times for Warhammer Fantasy that is still in the game right now in the old world? Everything that came out in end times is only Age of Sigmar, right? Mm, I think there's like one or two little like hodgepodge units that they put out. But Name, I'm it. For sure. Name it. Name it. I think. I, think I, 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 I said I. Th- think i didn't say i know okay i think people are overlooking the best uh, part about these models leaving that's true we're, we're gone, finally right? gonna get new rat ogres i do want new rat ogres it's finally time if they're compatible did you say that the um the war shrine was end times or is it I, gone i didn't it it's, no war time? shrine's age of sigmar only though isn't it or did no. they add it to uh old world it, it came out it came out in old world yeah it might, it might have been. war okay, shrine they... is still in the old world but the the luminarch and the um yeah Arcanum are not but okay. there's a chance they could come back in an arcane journal well yeah they're yeah. probably going to add it later because time passes in lore and that'll be more of a thing because i think at the time that old world is they didn't really have the hurricanes or the war shrines yet yeah I mean, I respect them for like sticking to their guns with that and just like, yeah. hey, we we've changed to a different timeline. These things don't exist. They're not in it. I mean, and technically, the there's no. That that's because those are probably going to stay in Age of Sigmar. Has nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, it's because Age of Sigmar <laughs> takes place takes place in a galaxy far, far away in the future instead of a long time ago. Or in the past, sure lore wise, there were only ever like one of each of them. It was like the, the you know the celestial school built this one tr- strange contraption, and the the light school was like, yeah, we can do that too. Yeah. And then you know they were like, even though they were like you know showing up in every army, there were only ever like one or maybe two or whatever that ever existed. So this is true. No, Charles, the sister of Thor was. They were def- They were in the Wood Elf book. In fact, uh, Dale just finished painting two units for me, and I will be using them in yeah. a better So, no, those are definitely those were not end times; those were in the book. Because the Wood Elves were the last army book; they were the last. They were the last army book, and yeah. then, like, not even like like four or five months later, the first end times book dropped. Yeah, like the like... Wood Elves didn't even get an FAQ to the point where people were arguing about whether you could how many how many uh, arcane bodkins and stuff you could buy in your army, stuff like that. Yeah, you remember all that nonsense. Yeah, like fun. yeah, the Wood Elves rate waited like three editions for an army book, and then they finally get it, and it's like, all right, and we're done. <laughs> yeah. All right, Brian, I have to ask you a question because uh, you got an opinion I respect. Uh, there's not right. that many in the world out there. There's mine. There's it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your take on the Lance thing? The Lance thing, as in, uh, fall back in good order. Can you still use your Lance? What do you think the rules as written and what the rules intended is? So, I have an opinion, but I don't think you care. I don't. So, Colin, uh, shut up. I I, mi- I missed the beginning of the stream, so I might. So oh, okay. The question, if you fall back in good order, and then you get charged. No, okay, I'll, I'll get you. And Alan, I'll let you weigh in, but you'll be wrong. Um. Okay, so uh, we we know when a unit. Uh, so I have I say, Bretonian Knights of the Realm charge. Uh, Empire Spearmen doesn't really matter. The Empire okay. Spearmen break and do a fall back in good order. Okay. Yeah. Uh the the knights pursue. They, mm-hmm. We know rules is written, it counts as a charge, and they're using their lances. Yes. So the FAQ came out, um, whenever it came out, like a month ago, and it yeah. said uh, uh, the, uh, the unit, it's, it counts as an ongoing combat. Oh, okay. And then the, I would... Hold on, hold on. And then under the lance, it's printed that um, you can use the lance when you charge in subsequent turns, or if you did not charge, you have to use your hand weapon. And because it's an ongoing combat, the FAQ pretty much said, now we can't use hatred. We don't get hatred. We know that. Nobody's arguing that. But people are still using the lances when the lance rule says, in subsequent turns, you have to use your hand weapon. What do you think the rule is intended there? What do you think the rules is written there? Well, I think rules is intended. It's definitely that you, like, charge in... Like, it, it counts as... It specifically says counts as a charge. So, yeah, I think you would get to use it. Um, rules is written. I would have to, like, very carefully read the FAQ. Um, but I mean, considering well, just, it's just, just, just ongoing combat, yeah, yeah, it specifically says it counts as ongoing combat, and the lance specifically says in an ongoing combat you switch to hand weapon. Well, that's a 
<coughs> the lens says in subsequent turns. There is an interpretation which mm-hmm. nobody's going to accept that there is an interpretation out there that people are using to argue the extreme other way. That it says in subsequent turns you must use your hand weapon, meaning you can only use your lance once per game, and then it breaks and you must use hand weapons. Yeah. So yeah. like. <laughs> I, I just uh, I mean, if, if I would, I would definitely play it that you they get it. Just you, you don't think that you don't think that makes them so powerful? Oh, it does. But I mean, Calvary should be though. I think I think Kaz is a little too powerful this edition. I that I don't disagree with that, but I'm also like something's always too powerful. Yes. and I remember eighth where Cav sucked. Yep. So I'm like, it's okay that it's Cav's turn. Yep. you know, right? That's yeah. a, that's the acceptable uh, like uh, interpretation. I think if you yeah. if you make Cav not the best thing in the game, the next thing pops over the next thing. Like there's no uh, yeah. Uh, rules is written. If you never switch to your hand weapons, then you can still use the lance. That's not true though, Christopher. Um, again, I'm not saying I'm not saying like this is what we should be doing or anything. I'm just more talking about what 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 we're what the arguments are. The lance specifically says, um, in subsequent turns, you must use your hand weapon. So you can be charging over and over and over again. And it narratively makes it narratively makes sense here. You keep losing your using your lances. I, I I'm not saying I'm not saying no. I'm just saying here here's the here's the muddy. And I, I think everybody has a you know pretty valid opinion. I don't think I don't think it's gonna break the game whichever way you rule this. I think people are going to play this different ways in different areas. And if you go to a tournament, ask your TO which way they're going to do it. And then Games Workshop will eventually FAQ it. And it'll be problem solved. I, it, whichever way this goes. I, games... I agree with the rules as written as well. Uh, which... I think they should get the lance. But I also have an opinion on it stating that how, what's the maximum distance you can charge when they break away like that? Because that's the thing that well, it, it makes me think about. Because if it's like. If you get an, uh, over six inches to catch them, then yes, you, you should be able to use your combat. Yeah. <laughs> if you walk into combat on, because a charge, I mean, in history depends on the buildup for the charge to be. Effective. So if, if we're getting that into a, definitely true. they if, have to go three inches at least to get your. I'd say at least ball. three to five inches to get lances. Well, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing. Impact. That's impact. I'm getting. Yeah, that. impact hits and yeah. furious charge yeah. requires yeah. you to move three inches to get your bonus, and lances, but not lances. Really yeah. If you That's have the what, infrastructure well, inbuilt, then you might as well make lances smash it. I yeah, mean, if we're a doing lance a... without the speed of the extra distance is nothing. That is the whole point of the lance: is the I mean, the momentum and the speed from the charge. Well, and it needs that it distance. Like, I mean, I know, it's but cool. it's still. It, yeah. I mean, you should still be able to use it, but you maybe like. Guys, guys, guys! Al, 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 When a bunch of people are talking in a room together. Uh, talking over each other is fine, but when you're on oh, Discord, right. only one voice will get through. I so just yeah, wait for pauses. <laughs> you're yeah, you're excitable, brother. All right. So what I'm gonna say is if i if we want to focus on a keyword that Steve said, narrative sense, then I say make lances cheaper and you only get them on that unit's first charge because <laughs> they either yeah. realistically they break or get stuck. <laughs> yeah, that is what hundred percent. You you hit the head on the the, the, nail, the nail on the head. Dude. I think the I community would revolt. Oh, yeah, they would definitely would... despise that. So it's a choice we're not making. But if we want it to make sense, make them cheaper, and that's how it works. Even I mean, metal lances snapped. If or got gave, stuck. If they went through and gave every every night unit some sort of like ensorcelled weapons rule, like AP or plus one strength with their hand weapon or something, some, something. Um, then that could be cool, but as yeah. it is, if they just like nerfed lances across the board, even if they brought the points down, it would make cavalry just well, throw it out. Yeah. It's out. Except <laughs> wild riders, P- wild P- riders still be OP. <laughs> TJ they, just they, they uh, made a good point that mm-hmm. like it all of a sudden questing knights get better for Bretonia. All of a sudden, uh, Empire knights with great weapons because we're probably going to see the knights of the White Wolf come back in the Arcade Journal for Empire makes them a little more appealing. They're always. At that plus two strength, whereas why why are lances always that plus two strength? Add an add because you when you fall back and get order and you pursue, you're still getting an initiative bonus. Uh, you're still getting all your charge bonuses. Uh, you're gonna strike first. Like it, it, it just. I'm in the camp that I never would have thought this was the intent until after this FAQ. I'm like, oh yeah, lances are a little too good. This does tone them down. It does make the great weapon to lance. Argument more like, do I want to have less armor saving, being a shot to death? I guess you can still buy shields. Do I want to have less armor saving combat and have them swing first, maybe die, or have that consistent plus two? Because right now, 
questing knights are cool, but like the lance just charging over and over and over again is significantly better. And then and then spears, spears will always get that plus one strength bonus, and we have a little bit of differentiation between yeah. always getting plus one strength with spears or only getting plus two strength with lances on one round. Well, plus two, uh, plus two strength, plus two AP, armor bane on one, and just plus one AP. On this the is other. the course and how was propagated. The channel, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, it is. <laughs> I am, I am all for the argument of two-handed weapons over over lances. I love me some two-handed fates uh, mashing. And 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 well, I want to be clear because some people uh, maybe I misinterpret or I I miss. Represent my no, actual no, size or get stuck several times there because holding onto a lance is hard. Yes, it's very hard. I've <laughs> tried it. It sucks. I but actually it, after you make contact hard. with something that's not going anywhere. Yes. My last week. Okay, sorry. Last weekend, my black dragon was cornered by four sides. If he survives such a s- sequence and loses, where does he run to? He runs from the the unit with the highest unit strength, and if they're all equal, just randomize it. I like Kyle's yep. input on the lance argument. But then calf spears are too powerful between stubborn and shield wall? I don't think so. Mm. Uh, but I'm, I'm interested in to you, as to why you think so. Because remember, they're only going to get plus one strength, plus one AP. Well, that's a neat idea, Sasha. But I think at this point, we're rebuilding how armies work if we go that far. Can you That's please clarify when you say break, or do you mean fall back in good order? Uh, if I said break, yeah, sorry. There's a good chance I'm using the wrong word regularly when I talk about this. I'm talking about when a unit does a fall back in good order, and you pursue. Because the okay, rules, now. yeah, the, the, you, it counts as a charge. You get your charge bonuses. I believe you don't get your lances. I don't think, I don't care if I'm right. I, if I'm wrong, fine. I'll, I'll play whichever way. I'm going to play that you don't get your lances because I believe that's the correct answer. Not that I'm saying you should play that way or anybody should play that way. That's the way I think is the right answer, but like I'm not going to like... Again, I, I, don't I, think it, I don't think it's a ne- negative yeah, for the no, game. I don't, I don't think lances should go from fall back and go to order. Break, yes. Fall back and go to order, no. Well, break um, break wouldn't matter because yeah, if somebody you're breaks and you're, you're running them down. Exactly. Yeah, but that's also when you think about it, you're like, that's what lances would do when they break. And then, look here, here. Here's here's another argument against what. I, well, is it okay? Here's another. Okay, so you does a fall back in good order. Sorry, the the spearmen do a fall back in good order, and the knights of the realm are going to do a pursue roll. But due to terrain or whatever, some janky reason, the spearmen get away, and the knights pursue into a fresh unit. Uh, it's going to be a halberd unit. Uh, that we know, just... we know that counts as a charge, and we know it's the yeah. first round of combat. And we know they get their lances. That means they do get the lances, yeah. No, I mean, as words written, that's a lance charge. Red, I don't want, Red Oak, I do not want this responsibility. I love the conversation. I could talk about this forever, but I don't want to, I don't want to, like, tell anybody what they should be doing. I've, I've looked up, I looked up the FAQ, and I 100% agree they do not get the lance. Yeah. Um, rules is written. Um, it it kind of comes down to primacy of like rules. You have like they get it when they charge, and they don't get it in ongoing combats. And you have like a situation where both are true at the same time. So which is it? And I think the the not getting well, the the ongoing combat trumps the getting it when you charge because yeah, you would get it, but you don't because of this condition. Not like you get it because this condition trumps the negating condition. Um, right. but and you know part of it is just how this game is played, how it's you know turn based and like things move one at a time. But like. I think if you want a way to imagine it, it's like they never break contact. The, the, they're being followed the whole way to the new position. They're, they're like being pushed through by the, the cavalry. That, that's exactly my interpretation. Being, you know, I, I like solved the problem. I, yes, I like ice wolves. I like so, the lance donkeys. So lances can be used once, but you could pay uh, 10 points for a unit upgrade. You get a donkey where you can give you some lances. <laughs> that's right. Dude, that would be amazing. Well, do you mean- it would be historically accurate. Demon Ace, no, the, the flail will get plus two strength the first round of combat. It keeps his AP two, but oh yeah, so yeah, same as the flail. So the flail, uh, a, the, a unit of marauders charge the spearmen. Spearmen break, uh, do fall back in good order. The marauders with flails pursue. Um, they do not get plus two strength. They get um, AP two still, obviously, but they do not get plus two strength. You play against wait, so mountain miniatures you. 
pay. No, you play against and with a Boar Boys with Biggins, Tropus, Cat Spear, three foot save, and feel strength five, baby two, fierce charge. My knights will die. Yeah, but but they have they have impetuous, right? Yeah. Granted, you can turn it off. I know, but in the army that really that 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 unit is really scary is the uh, the nomadic Wa, and they have no way of turning off their. Oh no, sorry, they do. They typically have no way of turning off their impetuous other other than the thinking at which that item might be broken. What's the rule that says always benefit your opponent? Uh no, that's for Drew Soul. That's for um, that's for charging into people's arcs. If you have a unit to uh, charging into an enemy unit and you're not, it's fifty fifty which arc you're in. You don't know which arc you're in. You you the rule says you must take the one that's beneficial for the charge E, not the charge er. Uh, I gotta I got stop. I got something unrelated to this. I watched the video, Steve, on Mini Wargaming for the uh, the pre video for the campaign. Yeah. And how y'all y'all got Dave to sign up for it. When he's gonna be doing a corn army, you're just gonna abuse him, aren't you, with all that fe- frenzy, aren't you? I don't even know what's gonna happen with that because we filmed that like I don't know. Oh, like I know. Two months a ago. while ago. Oh yeah, no, I'm just saying. But I know but what you're Matthew's do working to on. We haven't filmed anything for that campaign and matthew's working on two other campaigns currently oh okay so i don't know what's happening with that one to be honest with you but when you said impetuous i remembered that dave said he's like "Ah, dave's impetuous (laughs) yeah no he but no no dave's frenzy he's not impetuous you don't no if if dave had if dave played warhammer the old world um he would take a cannon crew and charge every turn if he could yes he would i'm just gonna say hilarious if there's a death watch campaign i hope Kaplan Shogun comes back to cause yes. his pain. Steve, yeah, you did the boy wrong. <laughs> I don't remember what you're talking about. We need Mole Man back. You're you're, you're really fast, Chaplin Interpretator armor. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you left him behind, Shogun. <laughs> I love that dude. I hope Steve, he comes we back. Mole Man to make your That should uh, be the next mystery. Sure. Saving Shogun. Saving Chaplin Choke and make a whole movie of it. I let him die. Saving Chaplin Choke. <laughs> what the flail specifically says first run of combat. Lance doesn't say first run of... Uh, then the... Lance says when... No. The Lance says... No, no, no. So you're... you're, you're... I don't know if you do this in... intentionally. You have to... Re... How do you do this intentionally? The Lance says oh, you can use it when charged, but in subsequent turns. It's just a different way of saying not the first run of combat inconsistent verbiage yeah <laughs> i would say charge my affair <laughs> no it's not a video demon it's just making it make fun of dave but there's a, a, a mini war gaming did a pre-campaign for a path to glory but like i know i take it like there's a bunch of bases getting designed and models getting ready for that campaign so i'm not sure where we're waiting for there's not the thing about about doing these kind of campaigns where it's different for a one-man operation like my channel to get these things done because I I'm I'm doing the painting like all the way through right. Whereas many working people have somebody else, probably a contractor, even though I do that, probably a contractor getting the models ready. So I have like I I never know what's happening with that kind of stuff. One day I get told, hey, remember that thing that we filmed two months ago? We're gonna film part two now. I'm like, okay, no, let's show up and oh, yeah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I wouldn't trade this job for anything in the world. And they're painting you minis. And Matt comes in, Steve, we're going to do this thing. You're like, Ooh. it's been since I think... go to Disneyland. <laughs> no, not again. I think the subsequent turn comment in notes is referring to sets before, not referring to subsequent rounds of combat. But if you count as charging again, you wouldn't be in subsequent turns. No, you definitely would, Fancy Fancy. You definitely would be. Like the F- like the FAQ made it clear that you would be it, it, it's ongoing combat. Like uh, I I I I'm I'm willing to entertain when people say I don't think that's what they mean. But if you say that's not what they said, then like no, you're you're I don't yeah I don't think you're. I mean, in in the FAQ, they specifically say like, uh. Unit doesn't have time to stow a weapon or exchange for another, with the exception to being to discard a broken lance or spear and draw a sword. Like they specifically yeah. say lance. Yes. I, I mean, that's true. you could argue that's like sort of flavor text because it's not really the rule, but like now they pull out lance. Let me let me give you a counter to what you just said, though, Brian. All right. Um, could that have been written because 
um, let's say the spearmen, sorry, the, the, the knights of the realm lost the combat and fell back in good order. And it's a spearman who pursued them, and then the knights are discarding their lance for their sword. Is that what they mean by that one? Sure. Possible. It could be, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it really just comes down to, do you think the, they're charging so they get their lance supersedes the, it's not the first round of combat so they don't get to use their lance. It's like, which one do you think? Yeah, and I, I accept that it can be interpreted both ways, and I'm yeah. just going which one I think is. I think not is. <laughs> and in logical charge proceeds the else and subsequent. I, I disagree, Kilgun. I think logically the subsequent to me is to me obviously um trumps the uh, charge part. Because like, they like, could have just wrote uh the lance can be used on um uh the charge. Uh, but on turns when they don't charge, you may not use the lance. Like they've written in eight other editions. <laughs> but this one, they, they chose to write in subsequent turns. Oh, it just makes it get late. Yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's what house rules are for, baby. Woo! <laughs> you know, I have an answer to the latest question. All right, Sasha, I'm ready for it. Roll Fucking Oh, Sasha? Oh, it's gonna be I should have read it before I read it aloud. <laughs> Dude, that actually doesn't make sense, though. <laughs> if you think about you it. You know what? <laughs> I can get behind that, Sasha. I'll play it that way. That that actually would work. If you rolled into it, it misfires. Your lance broke. You're at your sword. You just gotta roll every single one of the guys in your unit. Oh. One at a time. <laughs> But with Bretonia, that's not that bad because the most you'll have is like eight. I don't know if that's accurate, Gage. Um, uh, so the way I'm reading it, and I'll try to explain my 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 interpretation is um, when you use your lance, you know it's you charge blah 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 blah. In subsequent turns, you um, use your hand weapon. Now, if you have a lance and you didn't charge, you use your hand weapon. That's how I'm reading it. I'm not reading it as the same. The fact that the lance rule and the cavalry spear rule are written so differently right. implies yeah. that they are applied differently in the game. Like mm -hmm. the cavalry spear is written, there's no mention of not being able to use another turn. So the only condition is did you charge or not? So that one you would get to keep using. But the lance has a completely different condition which is in subsequent right. turns we have to assume that's like rounds of combat yeah otherwise you know yeah otherwise no. it'd be really bad definitely i i yeah. i i do believe you're not supposed to use your lance i do believe that i'm not going to make this call and for everybody and people are going to play it multiple ways until gw clarifies and if they never clarify uh tos will make a call uh right or wrong that's to be the way we all play what happens when those tos email you for the answer again Again, <laughs> that's right. We're gonna we're gonna defer to the, the mountain <laughs> miniatures on this rule. I, I'm not gonna the reply man. to every email before I reply with an answer. Is this for an official event or just for your personal game? Here is my opinion. <laughs> oh, here we go. I mean, you've probably played more games of the old world than anyone else on the planet. So, I mean, mm. who else have you asked? I've only played. Let's see. How long has the game been out for? Uh, like. Two months? No, it's yeah, been out more months. than that, hasn't it? Came out in early February, right? But it came uh, out February sixth. Like... February... Okay, wow. Are they only yeah. been two months? I mean, Steve here had it early, so he was playing. That's it true. Like half a month before. So I, I've been playing it for three months. So uh, let's say let's feels say like average... six to me. I don't even know. I don't. I don't think I have a hundred games in yet. It's been two months. <laughs> well, two a week that we know of. Three, I, three, 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 a week, three, three a week. Three a week. Minimum. Three a week, minimum. And then we know you play some on the weekends with all your homies. <laughs> uh, well, Luca talk... probably makes you play with them all the time. No, we do not play off camera. I know. Trust me, it, it kills it. Uh, Tolkash, what's your interpretation? Just so I don't know if we're on the same page. And you also written flails differently. 
Cavalry Spear is always used, that's true. Did anyone confirm, deny that Lance rules were copied and pasted from 8? I have an 8th edition rulebook. Ah! Uh, it's in the other room. If somebody wants to pull it up, like, if not, I'll go grab it in a minute. Check Discord. 3D printing lances, problem solved. 3D printing lances? What the hell is that going to do? No, you <laughs> saw. <laughs> if, you're in, if you're in the Discord, just go into uh, the 3D printing channel. <laughs> Let's go, Victor. <laughs> I think it's of the turns and say you have to switch to hand weapons, unlike other weapons where you you can't. Change. Yeah, I I think. I think it's okay if there's two sides to this argument. I, 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 I I'm okay with like oh, we're not gonna have a definitive answer. But I, I, I believe both sides think they have a definitive answer, but just make sure when you make, whenever you think whenever you make a decision on something, um, just make sure you ask yourself, am I being unbiased by my my interpretation here? You could argue that when it says a lance can only be used in a, during a turn in which it charged, that like that resets every time it charges, and then the in subsequent yeah. turn only like comes in if it hasn't charged. Yeah, you know, I, right? I I agree. Like, that that's, that's, very, yeah. that's why I'm not faulting anybody for having a different opinion. On the note of that 3D printed thing, I like it, <laughs> but we need to turn the middle into an effigy of the lady. It'll be perfect. Yeah, Tolkien. I, I, Tolkien is the first time you and I have ever agreed in probably several years. <laughs> I'm still shocked. You almost agreed with Sasha. I know. I almost agreed with Sasha. Serious question, Steve. Do you have uh, the Arcane Journal for the Dwarves? I don't think that's out yet, brother. At least not that we're allowed. Let's go, and Josh. Josh, we're some another game. Oh, okay. So. Um, I'm going to keep doing the members only videos, but I'm going to have to change the way I do them. I'm having, um, so I've never been good at holding a camera, but I also have nerve damage in my right hand. And if you guys have been watching the handheld games, uh, I've been editing them. Well, not really. That's what else I did. I'm, like, I'm going to check in them. Uh, my camera work is getting worse. My hand's getting worse. I'm going to have to change the way I film those. I'm gonna try a um a tripod type setup. So that's I think that's what we're gonna try for the, the members only handheld games. It's gonna be a tripod type setup. So bear with me as I so I have a I have a few in the queue with my very terrible shaky hand coming out. We'll have to upload this today. Um, I say you make the guest hold the camera so we can That'll be even camera. that'll be even worse. That but it'll be you more in the camera, it'll make me happy. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll just bear with me as I uh I figure out a new way of filming these things. I mean, you could wear a GoPro on your head too. That's true. Hire a cameraman. I that's that's a lot of money, my dude. I'm uh, I, this is not my full time job. I have to pay my mortgage and everything. Um, what about paying? This is I gotta I gotta pay him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're already paying. I'm just making him hold the camera now. Oh, Josh, just text me. I'm 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 a bad communicator. Everybody knows this. Now you know this too. <laughs> I'm not finished reading that. I don't think they. I don't think that anyone thought for follow up, but I do give it. If yeah, Lance wasn't used, well, I mean, because you got to remember when you think about it. If you, if you with that flavor text that says the lance is broken, they swapped. I mean, you think about well, it. I'm okay. pretty sure the lances would have broken on the first charge. Well, if we go think, with if we go with that, you get your lances once per game. I don't know if that's the intent. No, not once per game. <laughs> once per charge, like actual real charge, not follow up move into them and it says it counts as a charge yes but i mean, I mean but my model only has one lance on it that's okay that's it's the lady she makes them appear out of the sky above them when they charge again oh no Gabe, this, this is, is more permanent magic <laughs> you well, assume there's like supply trains and runners and stuff going yeah, all over i have the always yeah. assumed there's supply trains in the warhammer battles <laughs> yeah. if i don't see it on the field it doesn't exist space <laughs> marines don't have 50 million uh, uh, magazines for their, their guns, okay? 
Yeah, they have supply drop pods. They just ex- ex- exactly. extend their hand, and the lady manifests a new lance in their hand. It's like yeah. super earth. But she doesn't have time if they're doing a, a pursue move. That's right. They, she doesn't. No, because they broke. <laughs> they didn't pray for them. Like Ice Wolf. Hold on, hold on. I swear I don't want to talk about that. I have spent, I've spent several hours trying to find that exact device. It does not exist. Not one that can handle the weight of a camera, which is about three pounds. Um, I have, I've looked into designing and welding my own. I, I would love if that. I've had other people looking for that thing. I would bring a up a whole stand could do that. No, it can't. So, like one of these right here, they can't. The uh, when you move the camera into position. There's going to be so much wobble, and when you hit the, I'm sorry, I'm going to make a bunch of noise on my mic right now. You hit the camera button, or even use the remote, you're going to get too much wobble. I want to design a system in the live studio for doing something like this, where it'd be a track all the way around the table, where I could slide the camera all the way around, put it in position, yeah, and click record. I tried. That's 100% custom job right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get one of those, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I actually use it at work time but like uh there's like an arm with like a, a lamp on it like a, yeah those like are those little... are actually strong yeah yeah I, that could hold up a camera um, arm with a lamp on it it's I, like I the describe it it's literally just like what's on the microphone thing the microphone stand but it's a lot stronger and heavier materials made for lamps you just yeah. saw off the lamp thing weld on a thing that'll hold the camera well so those things so there there are special i can buy a twenty thousand dollar camera which will have the appropriate yeah arm. Uh, sorry, yeah. I can't find a device that's not twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, no, you're not going to. Um, somebody like said uh, custom, gimbal. Who said that? Uh, right over. So a uh, gimbal won't work because let me give you. I have no. If this is the camera, um, I'm holding the camera like this. I'm on the miniatures, and then I got to come up to my opponent, back to the camera, up to my opponent. Oh, what are you saying? Cool. And then table, and then if you use a gimbal, the gimbal just reorientates the camera back. So like, I I come, my hand comes up. Camera goes back down, so a gimbal won't work for the uh, that old style of filming. the 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 cheapest way of doing it might be um, hiring a, a person to operate to to do what to record it like I record the live streams. Uh, I don't know if I want that or can afford that at the moment. If I do that, I have to start editing my own stuff again. I'll have to I'll have to cut my editor, uh, use somebody to operate the stream instead, and that means I have to do more editing time, which means I get less painting done. It's a big, it's a, it's a huge balancing thing. Well, we're just gonna have to suck it up with the tripod for now until you. Get yeah, I want to try that. I want to try that first. If I can make that work, till till we get that super mega cream that fixes your hand. No, it's a uh, diabetic neuropathy. Like, uh, I, I, I know Steve. it ain't, it ain't getting better. <laughs> I know. It's the same well, problem with my back. I saw a documentary. Didn't stem cells help Christopher Reeves? Yeah, yes, they did. But stem cells are also highly frowned upon by religious people. And you know how religious people are. Okay. You know how we get there's only one way for us to get stem cells. Th- right this now. is me changing the subject, Alan. Yeah, hey, yeah, Luca, I, I already did. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I already knew pay Luca, but Luca, Lu- uh, I, I had to look, guys. When I got Luca in for the second stream, it took several months of convincing him to to come on. One remember, Luca works full time. He does twelve hour days on the stream days. Uh, he had to negotiate with like, with, like yeah. There was a whole yeah. There was a whole thing. Like, uh, asking more of Luca is not reasonable. <laughs> how friendship works you don't have no no i have a i, I have a strong strong uh i got you nobody works for free oh okay <laughs> except the moderators Look, you know what you need to do you the moderators work for free that's true <laughs> you need to get sasha there steve that's what you need to do i don't know if i can handle it use glass camera mounts on your head i don't know if uh could you get good resolution and I already sway. I, I've had five operations on my spine. I already, I already sway a lot of my feet, so it might, might get worse. Like I know I am the worst cameraman in all of wargaming. I know it. I've never noticed that. Honestly. Are you serious? No, I've really never noticed bad camera play from you, from Luca, or from Matt. 
No, Matt's, sure that, no, you, Matt and Dave are both very, very good at holding the like, camera. You know, you know what's funny is I see oh, more Dave's slave room. from Dave really? than anybody else. Yes, I, I swear oh. to God. What I'm watching and he's using the camera, I see a lot more sway from him than anybody else. If I may, I think the reason no one really notices is the production quality for Mount Miniatures and Mini War Gaming is already so far above the competition. Yeah. No, it's that's not true. You, you oh, are not, there are some really good channels out there. Let's not disrespect them. No, no, Steve, they're good channels. Saying, like, the, there's a lot of channels that are just yeah. not good, like kitchen table with some paper plates. Yeah. Hey, man, you have to start there's, somewhere. There's, there's a reason why I keep watching Mini War Gaming Mountain Miniatures instead of the other stuff. It's because... I like the way y'all do it. And can I, really can I can't stand can, can, the way other people do it. Let me it. tell you the truth. It's because you're used to us. Well, no, not even that. I just, I like the way y'all do it. Because I watch, like, like I watch Striking Squirpy, and I love him. I love his voice. I love his, I can't stand the way he does videos. No, stop that. You don't say something. We love no, all no, YouTubers. No, no. I said I like him. I think he's cool, but I just can't stand the way he does it. It's the same thing with uh, Tabletop. Whatever those Striking guys Scorpion are, Alan Cotton's views English. do not represent Mountain Miniatures. Yeah, he is no, not, is, yeah, Alan Cotton is not opinion. a paid employee of Mountain Miniatures. My, He's the local fool. Face right. the dreamer. This is on you for giving you a membership. This is my opinion. Yeah. Don't believe it. I just don't like the way they film it. And I would always like the way Mount, uh, the Mini War Gaming and Affiliation have done it. I, just, think I, I like the way they do their it. stuff. There's a fine line between kitchen table and overproduced and i feel yes. i feel once you go above mini war games quality you start really hitting that overproduced line where it's like a lot i'm of, not watching a game anymore you know <laughs> a lot of it feels really try hardy and it bothers me it like it, it, once it's overproduced it feels scripted and that kills all the fun yes that's a... especially when they skip so many things and you're like dude why didn't we get to see that dice roll bro yeah, how many times they roll that die before they get the result they wanted? Yeah, things like that. <laughs> yeah, I know they did. So there, there are two channels that I like to watch. That I think, um, well, no, there's more than two. There's, there's four, but there's, there's two I'm gonna talk about that are like the high quality ones. Uh, Tabletop Titans did. and Tabletop Tactics. They like one's the live format and uh, Titan that's right, Tactics is, I think, I think, I, I think a really good level of production and edited down. No, I, yeah, well, I, I understand the. Um, if you play on tabletop, it might be too edited down for some people, but they are there for the masses. They're doing very well, like view wise, right? To I be still honest, think... uh, I mean, at least for myself, like, Amen, Josh. the vast majority of the time, if I'm like watching a video, like a, a battle report or whatever, something you made, uh, I'm normally not watching that closely. I'm normally like painting, or even if I'm yeah. not like actively painting, I'm I'm doing something else, um, and I'll look up to see what's going on, and then be back to what I'm doing. So, like, right? Can I, can I tell you, I I yeah. truly believe the only reason why I got this far is because most of you are painting and not looking at the at the screen. That could be <laughs> awesome. Uh, now that you called possible, it out, but... it might be super obvious now that you've called it out. I'm yeah. gonna go watch a video and just be like, oh. <laughs> but as one who doesn't paint because they can't and watches your your battle reports all the way through. Oh, sorry. I sorry. I I have to. You're right. Liam Dempsey is another one. Also, also that dude is an awesome dude. The 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 person he portrays on camera, that's just who he is. Like that's that guy. Liam, Liam Dempsey's a fantastic channel and an awesome I'll have to dude. Check that guy. Out. I'll check Liam. Yeah, he's a, he's a 40k channel, um, but he's awesome. He he is awesome. Sorry, what were you saying? Somebody was saying something. They cut him off the the slobber. He on finished. Liam. Oh, sorry. Once you slobbered on Liam, he finished as you slobbered on Liam. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, see, Sasha's like me. We both watch this crap, Steve. And we like you, you actually watch it, Sasha and Alan. I watch. I watch everything you produce so I can put stuff in the comments where you fudged up. That is my life, Steve. <laughs> I mean, that that is a fun part of it. Not I, I, I still put things I see in videos that are seven years old. I know. I, every now and then, I'll get, I'll get a, a, a... I see every comment, right? It's like, somebody okay. comment on a video that's literally four and a half years old. I'm like, on page... Uh, sorry, I timestamp about like, you did something wrong. I'm like, I click on it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> somebody else pointed that out four years ago. 
Too bad. I didn't see that because you got too damn many. <laughs> uh, There's yeah, a video I did million. with Ash. It's like over a million views where every now and then I go back and re- it, it still gives views Do and y'all comments. Y'all have a radio with over a million? Yeah, it's it's uh it's vampire counts versus dwarves, I think. Um, and it, it still gets it still gets views. It got, it got caught in the algorithm. It gets weird comments, and every now and then, like every 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 other year, I go and reply to a bunch of comments. Yeah. I watch games. I paint with talking heads. Oh, fair. I just assumed I got by because nobody's actually watching. <laughs> to be honest, I often don't paint while watching. I'm mesmerized by the content. <laughs> If Minerva and Forge shipped within the EU, I would buy from them, not in digital. But import cost in the EU is 40 euros at minimum, unless you pay taxes on the import. I don't know how that works. Uh, but Killgun, uh, buy a printer. Yeah. Honestly, it's, it's, it's cheaper than buying the files directly from them. That's what and we're if, about to start doing. If you want to use Mountain, sir, coupon code Mountain10. Uh, you get 10% off even the files by using my coupon code. If you are going to buy anything from the Forge, um, there is a link in the description of this video uh, that it sends a little bit of money back to, towards me. Uh, if you are a Silver Vault member from Mini Wargaming, you have a, a, a good discount. But if you use your Silver Vault member code and you use my link, even better. <laughs> you still got that link? I thought that thing died. Nope, uh, Matt's let me have it because... Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, they hired they hired a new employee. Uh, uh-huh. they caught up. So uh, if you order now, your wait time is minimal. It's not zero. So wait, does that mean that the the streams aren't going to drop anymore? No. So that's not actually that's not the printers. Uh, no, it was because it was uh, too high res, right? No, like actually, it's because it was encoding off the video card. And Ooh. um, when when somebody is in the studio, that studio all day recording so what happens they record yeah, batteries it out yeah they record battery reports with the obs now so if they're they're, they're they're constantly starting and stopping and recording and encoding off the video card and then if i come in and don't reset the whole computer and try to stream in 4k um we figured out every time michael hits spacebar uh, when he's typing which was mini wargaming's um um record button he would start a recording. It would overload the uh, card and crash the, the crash the stream. So we didn't realize you know, we're, we're that, professionals. That, we have another profile, so Michael doesn't when he types he doesn't start recording anymore. But one hundred percent mini war gaming. The space bar is the record button. Well, the person who has to do all the work back there has a lot to do, and it's the easiest thing yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I have a resin yeah. printer, but movement trays. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you have to buy. Um, so Killgun, if you were to do the math and all the trays you need, uh, figure out how much it costs, and then look at the cost of um the bamboo P1P, which is probably the best PLA printer I've ever used, it's it's probably comparable to just buying the printer and the, the filaments and all the if, if you have a large army or a lot of armies. And after that, you can just print army print trays and sell them in your local area. You probably make some money back. Troy has a probably. good question for you, Steve. Who's that? It's, uh, so if your infantry spearmen force opponents to FBIGO, yep. fall back in good order, do they get a support rank when they pursue? Ooh. I think, yeah, I think they would. That's, that's no, it's question. ongoing combat. Nope. Yeah? Nope. No? Because they count as charging. Yeah, that's true. Mm, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I still don't think that should be a charge. I think that should just be another move. Because you're not maybe charging them. You're just moving into them. Another one, Josh. Awesome. I freaking love my... my it's going right now. It, it, I, it, it doesn't stop. I love my bamboo. What is yeah, bamboo? no, it, there's, uh, it's a printer. Oh, okay. It's it's not awesome. Like, I've had... Uh, I printed a lot of Mordheim terrain on some any cubic mega whatever's like took forever and all kinds of errors and fail prints. This bamboo, I haven't had. I don't. I'm pretty confident saying I haven't had one failed print. Uh, now it's gonna happen. Way to go! I know. I know. <laughs> just, just jinxed it. We got you to say the words. <laughs> we did it. It's done. 
I ordered uh, on March 20th and it shipped Your on April 4th. Burn down. <laughs> Time to order food. My job's done. Appreciate you, Swoop. <laughs> what sounds like good food to eat right now? We we eat. Now, which uh, bamboo printer do you have? P one P. Mine's. I don't have the enclosed so like case. Their standard entry one. Yeah. yeah, it's the it's their yeah yeah. I don't need multiple. Good. I'm just right now. I'm, I'm only paint or printing, um, movement trays and bases. Uh, yeah, so I have one printed. All you need. Yeah, I have printed a few pieces of terrain that I need to paint up, but I don't need multiple colors for that. For for a, I think for a war gamer, and I could be wrong. Uh, when you're printing trays, bases, and terrain, you only need the P1P. I don't think you need multiple. Oh. You don't need a case. You don't need uh, multiple colors of uh, PLA. What was that company you used to always use for your bases that came all pre-made that looked pretty cool? What was it? Gamers Grass. Love Gamers them. Grass. Do they have, do they have square versions for that too? I don't think so. I don't know. That but, would be cool. I mean, if, they're still around, so you can. They, they, they probably have to go look that up. I would assume they that I would assume that the if they don't, they would eventually. But I, I mean, they, that would be thousands on thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to rebase all my armies. Yeah, but they look really cool. I love my. I don't know how to pronounce that one. I got the Q one. The only printers I would never use again would be the those original. Remember, like you guys remember watching my more time. Uh, terrain mini vlog i did a couple of shorts those printers there i would never go back to them uh it, it was like every two three days i was re- I replaced in the hot end i've had this printer for probably three weeks printing almost non-stop that's exaggeration like there are gaps from out of the house whatever and no, it's no, printing no, no, constantly no, and and it hasn't gone it's on the first uh, hot end no such thing as a gap in printing. With Wait, shush. you haven't had to replace the hot end yet? Nope. I got one print out on mine, and I had to replace the hot end. On a bamboo? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, my anti-cubic uh, PLA printers, uh, I yeah, I went through... I, I, I would just order... I, I had a subscription to hot ends on Amazon. Just keep sending them every week to me. Mostly printed CNC MP CNC Wait, is that like a a printed camera setup mount? Because I could see that being a thing. Interesting. That seems pretty legit if it is what I think it is. Oh. That's a, I have to design it then, right? We're saying, Alan, can a model with random movement charge a unit it didn't see? Yes, that that's cool. I like because random movement's not a charge. You just move randomly, and if you, and if you make right. contact, yeah. that was a good looks, good question. Kill gun too. It looks like Wait. gamers grass used to make square bases. They do not now. Does it count? Oh, as, oh, does okay. it become a charge when they make base with something? Something that moves randomly? It counts it... as a charge when they make base, if I remember that's the thing. When random movement hits another unit, it counts as a charge. But it's still random movement, so they can charge at something they didn't see, technically. Yeah. Okay. Ice Wolf, that's that's pretty... design. is, like is there that. one in particular? or The Dutch way. Yeah, no, Ice Wolf, I'm very interested in what's going on here. Um, is this, like, something I got to build up, or is there was there a design already out there? I just did a Google search for what you wrote. There's probably designs out there, but I would probably try to build my own if I was doing it myself. Or you could find somebody you trust to do it for you. Just yeah. an engineering degree. What is there, Josh? I see T. Something chaosy. Oh, you'll send it to Steve, but you won't put it in the printed thing. <laughs> ah. I see how it is. Also, no, I saw the donkey. Not, the yeah, the ones that need the only thing, like I said, the only thing we need to change on that is we turn that middle thing 
into a statue of the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Or just, you know what? Just make it a banner that says elf. Elf. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> is it me no. or did the FAQ made it more complex for each weapon? I don't think so. I think it simplified it. Or clarified it? I don't know. Not clear. Clarified is not the right word. I think it'll I think it, I think the FAQ made weapons make more sense to me. Now there's more of a delineation between a great weapon, a lance, a spear, um, and a flail. All, all on mounted models. My as motto as, is oh sorry, if you, you go first. As far as I've been able to tell, it affects the the lance, the flails, and I mean if you count it the morning star are the only weapons that yeah. are specifically contingent on first round of combat. But but now now there is a there is an argument uh to like okay, not that any one model can take all of the weapons, um, yeah. but a lance was just the superior weapon every time. Now we have the lance potentially not being used uh, for any strength or AP bonuses after the first round of combat for full back in order. Uh, the flail still gets the AP bonus, not the strength bonus, but it costs you to have two hands. The great sword gets you the strength and AP bonus, but it costs you to have two hands, and you lose initiative. Uh, the spear you get to have every time, but it's the least amount of strength, the least amount of AP. Like, they're all four different weapons, and they're all four differently good. Whereas, if you without this FAQ, the lance and the flail is just uh, similar, um, but two-handed, and then the flail is just a great weapon, but better in every way. Uh, this actually, the more I talk about this, the more it makes sense to me. This is what the intent is. It just makes every weapon different in a positive way. My motto is, when in doubt, two-handed out. Well, no, two-handed would be number three on the list until this FAQ. Because it would definitely be Lance, Flail, uh, two-handed weapon, Spear. Now, now, I, give me any any of the four. They all have uh, the best case, the best situation for them. Yeah, I mean, you just maybe gotta, the, you maybe think maybe, about what you're doing. Maybe the great weapon might be the best now. But not the best, because you have less armor. But in my, in this edition, you need more offense than defense, but again, this is this is. I'm not saying any of this is for sure. This is like, I, I'm liking this interpretation. Clearly, I'm biased. It, you know, it's Antonia hard, but like, that might be okay. good. They but will, probably for the hard hit. probably for the best, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so be- beforehand, um, when you had a Bretonian duke on a royal Pegasus with his, say, he had a lance, or even you didn't even have a lance. Who cares? Just using a, a magic weapon and um, virtue of deadly temper, were you guys allowing him to get hatred again every time? In the past, I can't say I've ever played a game with a, uh, that yeah, that that dude. Not. But fair, fair. Uh, I would I would have counted just in like as a rule. I would fall back in good order. As opposed to like give ground, I would have kind of fall back in good order as a new combat every time. Like uh, that would have just yeah. been how I would. Have well, that, it. that that's how I think all of us did play it. I'm like this yeah. character keeps getting hatred, and mm-hmm. D- so his uh, uh, virtue of temper D three more attacks and um and hatred. I think only on the charge. So now it's only extra D three attacks, no hatred, mm-hmm. which just again fixes that problem. But not that, not that that is evidence that this thing, I don't know. Yeah. Do you use a big line of sight blocker in the middle of the table not to make a uh, shooting field? Sometimes. Uh, probably about half the time there's at least something. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes. I miss my fences and whack just to watch your cavalry die. Are fences still dangerous? I don't know. I don't know. Think so off the top of my head. I haven't seen it in a lot of the stuff, but I think I've seen you charge over fences, like like oh, in at least two or three. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not dangerous, but they they make your charges a lot slower. Oh, okay. Because these like, like your the, minus one movement, you have to use the the bottom die, the lower die. I liked it when it was dangerous. It makes more sense when you charge through a fence that it's possible that the horse's legs get swept out from under it and you die. Do you think Bretoni can use more than two magical lances? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like magic lances as it is, so I don't care if there's any more. I would love for them to get the old rule they used to have. It's probably too powerful. Whereas they could, um, they had a rule in the past where Bretonia could 
use their hack use their lance on the charge and then they would draw their magic weapon so like the old characters were just they sort of might mm -hmm. isn't that what they do now anyway no like chaos knights kind of do that with their sorcerer weapons it's effectively the same well, i mean when the uh when the duke charges and he charges with a lance. Does he only have that lance still, or does he pull out a like a one-handed sword? He, he goes through one-handed sword after that. Yeah, that's so. Then they kind of still have that rule, but only on characters. It would seem with lances. Well, yeah, but like, are, are you saying like if he had like a magic sword, he'd switch uh -huh. to that? And after, nah, he they, he has to use the magic sword because it's a magic weapon. You have to yeah, that. that always circumnavigates against a lance. Yeah, because that's the magic weapon. It gives them the plus two strength or the extra AP. Yeah. Or that ignores everything because they're Bretonia. Cool. Yeah. But if, like, it, unless it's, like, a really, really high-quality magic sword, a lance is probably going to be better than it is. Oh, yeah. Like, one to combat. Fences mm -hmm. are the past that... the chariots? Fences? I mean, yeah. A chariot should not be able to go past the fence. Uh, sure. Alan, did you say yes because you knew the answer? No, I said yes because it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Uh, why can't I spell fence? I can't find fences in the rule book. F E N C E S. I do kind of recall reading that. I don't know. If... I think they can. I, I, I think I remember seeing that too. I'm not 100% sure. So, Drew, can you give me a page number? I, I, I didn't know that. That's the thing. I did not know that. I mean, but when you think about it, if the the boar or the horse or whatever is pulling the chariot doesn't smash through the fence, how's the chariot going to get through it? Well, I mean, the fact that chariots are charging in is kind of lame in the in the first place. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. But... Low the near obstacle. That's right. I was like, all three people just dropped it right there. Well, it's not. Oh, I'm in. It's not the right book. That's why I can't find. God, that would make it hard. Yeah, that I'm, usually, I'm in the force that of usually makes it to where that's that's usually makes it to where when you look for fences, you won't find it in the book that doesn't have fences. Hmm. All right, I'll add chariot. That might be in the chariot section. Let's find this rule. Hold on. Uh, 194, it says, Chariots are not designed for use in terrain. This model treats all difficult terrain as dangerous terrain, treats all linear obstacles as impassable terrain. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, Excellent. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's under it's under iron shod wheels. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I for like the it. chariot rules. <laughs> okay. That's also the rule that says if it fails a dangerous train, it loses D3 wounds. I remember so that. If it rolls a 1 out of dangerous, it loses D3. I wonder. We've had to have had games where we've had, I've moved a chariot over a fence. I've had to have. I think I've seen you do it. I don't know for sure, though. So they treat it as impassable terrain, but could they, like, if there was a unit, like, right behind the fence, could they still charge it, fight, and then if they, you know... Uh, the do the defended fight. terrain kind of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they... If, it, if it's the low ones, I don't think they could, because it's still technically I'm charging into the fence. Yeah. No, yeah, you could. You still, you can't pass over it. And if they flee yeah, away no. from you, you're not, you're not running them down. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. I see what you mean now. Okay. So you did a drive-by? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. No, you drive played a game of sword. chicken, and you had to stop right at the. <laughs> Still good. Too. Drive, You're right, brother. Sword, a, a great sword drive by. You get like three of their heads and a swing. See, and then the, the keep terrain, going. The terrain in this game is like really impactful. It's just, I, I, I get why people don't like to play with it because when it comes up, it's normally stopping you from doing something. I like yeah. that. Oh, I would, well, I would have charged you, but there's a bit of woods in the way, so I fail. You know, or, that's like, why I put my units next to those woods. Yeah, exactly. It's way so... better than 40k terrain. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Oh. Are people not liking that? I thought that was a I, good thing. I was going, Zach. With eighth editions. I was fine with 8th editions terrain stuff. 8th edition shouldn't have terrain. Didn't it? I yeah, thought it you... did. <laughs> Might it, well not have. it effectively didn't have terrain. Yeah. Huh. 
Look, I, that just shows how long I've been playing. I mean, this is getting like getting off topic, but like in eighth yeah. edition specifically, when it's like, okay, you have to put a giant box in the middle of the board, or the game becomes unplayable because everything dies right away. That's a problem. I <laughs> like that. that. At a, at a I... fundamental level, game design wise, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only person on this planet who liked 8th edition? I think the old world is superior edition. 8th edition is where I started watching Warhammer content, so that's what got me into yeah. Warhammer, so I have to, you know? <laughs> Fair. Are we talking... I 40K? started in 7th edition no. 40k. So, yeah, I'm talking 40k. I'm not <laughs> going to say 8th edition is the is a, like top-tier Warhammer fantasy, but like, like if I were to rank all the editions, like, old world might... It's probably going to be number one. Um... Old world fifth edition is edition. probably number two for me, but like I'll move them around. I, eight, eighth is not going to be up there, but I still loved it. Why do we hate on eighth so much? I loved it. I'm, I didn't I'm say I was hating. No, I, I'm too new. I started playing in eighth, so I, I mean I agree with you. I mean it was eighth. I don't have other times, context. Right? Yeah. See, here's the thing. Uh, I'll speak for Luke on this because he's been very clear. Like I know his opinions. He started in eighth edition. And he loved it until we went and played an old hammer, and he's like, "Oh, eighth edition is shit." <laughs> that, that, that sounds about right for Luca. Yeah, I won't deny that. Yeah, new, new editions are universally always exciting. It doesn't matter whether it's like a good or a bad edition. When you go from one edition to another and you're relearning the game, that's just fun. It's I, a yeah. fun process. I remember a conversation Luca and I had many, many years ago when we were, we were bringing old hammer back. Luca, let me tell you about the best edition of Warhammer Fantasy. It's Warhammer Fantasy Sixth Edition. It's the best. You're gonna love it. We played one game. And I went, huh? Yeah, I don't think I was playing this game correctly when I was a kid because I don't like any of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what do you mean I'm engaged in the side and have to stay like that forever? Steve's always gonna say the old stuff because he's old. No, I actually think um, I like eighth more than sixth. I think. Uh, I think uh, okay, off the top of my head, my hierarchy is old world number one, uh, number two, fifth edition. Then I think seventh, eighth, sixth, and don't get me wrong, I do like sixth. Where where would Army's Project fall in there? Just yeah. Curious. Um, I didn't like Army's Project. What? Um, oh, you lying sack of crap baskets! You all you said was it was great in the videos. I know. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. How do I how do I word this so it makes sense? Um. No. The I know. I know. I know. The core rule book is probably better than maybe even the old world. Okay. The core rule book was it's yeah. it's so freaking good. I love everything. I um I didn't like that um skirmishers were effectively out of the game in, in the core rule book. But that's a minor thing, but the core rule book I thought was so good. I had a I had a problem with the uh with the factions. Mm, the, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, I, I think was... I think the, the, the balance spread for um, Army's project was like the worst spread of all the editions. I mean, yeah, it was. Yeah, because we it was the ranking video. Like the bottom was obviously the bottom, the top was obviously the top. Like it was just so swingy. Yeah, <laughs> Army projects, you could you could tell what was liked by the people that made it. The you know what? Hold on, I I have to check myself because um, I have a I have a okay, I have decided. To be upset with it because in my opinion um i thought more time should have been spent to balance the issues of the core armies and not work done on the other armies that didn't exist in the core game so oh. that was my opinion which is like that's i have no that, that's like that's that's stupid like everybody loved those things but i i oh, I, wow. I wanted more balancing on the main stuff uh not you, not not you didn't not want to, you didn't want to make your nip on army <laughs> right, that's the thing, right? You know you uh, wanted to. You well, should have just fought a bag of plastic army men and called that your Nippon army. I don't even know what units are in a Nippon army. So the thing is, the thing is, it took me a long time to get to the old world. I mean, um, not the old world, uh, War Army Project, because it's a fan-made edition. I had nothing but bad experiences with the Ninth Age early on. I'm like, nobody's going to want to do this, but we get so bored of 8th edition, we have to try something. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is actually a really well written, amazing game. Like, this is so well done. Like, I can't believe, like, this is probably the best written rule book uh, over all games workshop ones. And then after playing a bunch, I started like, okay, these cracks, like, undead's an issue. Like, this isn't fun. 
like once once you figure out how to like once Luca figured out how to play on net, like this is not fun. It's just I stand there and do, like it is just it was some fun things for were. Luca. It, well, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. After a while, it it really wasn't. He had to tone his list down so much yeah. to bring what he wanted, just so but, it would be over immediately. And then yeah, I remember that actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go piss a bunch of people off and make a bunch of enemies right now. But then when you go on the WAP Discord, there was a bunch of people who were like saying like this this like this has to be this like like clearly these people in my opinion didn't actually play the game. Like they're just they're they're the arguments they're making make no sense in the game whatsoever. Like that's a good seventh edition argument. That's a good sixth oh, yeah. edition argument, but it doesn't apply currently. I'm like, oh, and I, I thought that swayed too much. But again, I had a bias because I felt like the 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 like there was armies that were loved and armies that were kind of abandoned. And I and I loved my beastmen. And I thought they were overpowered and need to be toned down. I want to be clear. It's not, it wasn't just one way. I loved the beastmen, but they were way too powerful in WAP. Look, as long as the high elves were F tier, I'm okay with it. That's the thing too. I, and there's so there was so much of that. Uh, there's elven hate and in, in the oh, yeah. it, it always is the thing. But I just want armies to be. I want armies to be playable. I think elves are in a good spot right now. I don't think anybody's. Actually, if, I agree if you ignore with you. dragons for the high elves, which is I, I mean, know a big ask, I think elves are finally in a good spot. Now, high elf dragon spam is still going to be a problem. I can't stand that. It is a thing. But elves are in a good spot. I like playing them. I think they're not overpowered, not underpowered. I don't think a one dragon list is overpowered either right now either. Uh, I'm biased right now. I I, I can't one talk fairly. dragon. I can't talk fairly. I think one dragon is overpowered in the game currently. Mm. I mean, it's strong, but I don't think it's like, oh my god, why am I even playing this game? I think you either have something that can deal with it, or you don't. And you're gonna figure yeah. that out pretty quick. Yeah, game, you, you know, just right? you got to like, think about that when making the list. Yeah, you just do I, I think, need a cannon. Yeah, yeah. I if think you have to do that, then that's a problem. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. I think dwarves are a very, very powerful army. I think they don't have a fair fight against the dragon. Uh, if they have enough cannons, but they, their cannons are D three. Their cannons are D three. Normal cannons, yeah. They yeah, need to be D three plus the... one to be a, a reasonable argument that they're good against dragons. Yeah. I kind of miss cannons being D6. I thought that was there was no problem with that, in my opinion. D3 plus 1 is fine. Just flat D3 is garbage. <laughs> I was waiting for that, Sasha. I mean, why was D6 so bad on cannons? Like, was it just that oppressive? If it they hit? get lucky, they get like they randomly get super lucky well, one shot something, and then that would skew the whole game. And but then, like, but their average wasn't like super high, so they'd be like chipping away at stuff other times and doing like, one damage. The, a D six damage could one shot m- most monsters in the game. Mm-hmm. True. Uh, and before before uh, end times combined the profiles the the riders it would kill a rider and it, even the, it hit both models and like dr- cannons took monsters out of the game. Um, I think cannons are in a good spot at D three plus one. I believe WAP did that D three plus one. And I'm happy D3 that Gaze Rushout followed suit, except for the Dwarf Cannon needed the plus one. I I think the Dwarf Cannon should be D3 plus two, just because it's the well, cannon that... The, 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 they they are the cannon race. So so Dwarf Cannons use regular cannons, and then everybody else uses a great cannon. Dwarves are tinier, so they have smaller cannons. But there, there <laughs> needs, there needs but, to be a rune. Make it 25 points, plus one damage on the cannon. That's it. It's all problem solved. Well, give me a rune plus ones, one damage. Are the doors the ones that create the great cannons for the, everybody else? I don't believe so. The Empire creates the great cannon. Yeah, but they probably got yeah. knowledge shared from, to them from the doors. Oh, but. Okay, okay. And I think because uh, true, the, Charles the ogre, ogre stole all their cannons from the Sky Titans or whatever so that we've never seen. You mean so the maybe, uh, maybe the dwarves the, stole the cannon idea from them originally? You know, right? Like, true. Like, complete other race invented the cannon and it's just kind save of it for the next that. maelstrom of war podcast <laughs> yeah that was a good i one. don't I know like if that's that coming one. back what why it was i love the maelstrom of war no, I, don't sure it, I don't think cool, enough it people good, did it's a good watch just watching steve's face of self-loathing i had no purpose in that that thing. you are literally just there just like why am i here every time i see it it just makes me laugh like Steve, you have to go. You have to, you have to go sit back there and operate because you're the guy who set all the streams up. You know to operate. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't mind doing. It. I mean, any, I can teach anybody to do this in five seconds. Look, okay, I'll do it. No big deal. Uh, but then, uh, no, you're gonna go sit back there, put the headphones on, um, and look like you're operating. But we're gonna operate from the control table. 
So um, yeah, because I have no purpose being here with the camera. Yes, because <laughs> I noticed that I see the camera go to you more than anything else half the time. I think Dave just loves to like bully you a little. I was just sitting there with headphones on, which everybody knows I can't stand wearing. Well, Dave throws the cameras, and I'm supposed to, I'm, I'm behind all these monitors and a microphone, looking like I'm operating. It's it was it was a facade, everybody. I had no control. Uh, uh. I still want more of it back. I like that <laughs> show. Other than you being there, looking like, why am I here? Why do they keep putting the camera back on me? Well, I'm trying to have a conversation, but like they're on the other side of the room, so far away from me, and they they can't hear me. I can hear yeah. them because I have headphones on. They can't hear me. They're like, they're thirty feet away from me. Yeah. So I'm trying to interject things. Don't do me. I have to try and join you for the stream next week. Unexpected work trip this week. Oh, that's well. You work a lot, brother. <laughs> have a great day out there, everyone. Steve, I'll get your help for post players all world this our time. But buddy, I got you. I got you. We were already talking about it. <laughs> you have an awesome. Oh, Ogre army now. I mean, Orkin Goblin army now. Square bases. <laughs> so you stole I guess... Josh's models. Gotcha. Yeah, I know, right? I guess you could <laughs> use the Bone Splitters as um the Cruel Boys, though. If you want to stay on round base. I don't think anybody would have a problem with that whatsoever. My last game against one high off dragon after bouncing it with the champion challenge trick, I charged it with 30 best gores, 29 gores, a BSB, and a gorgon in the flank. Lost combo by eight and the game. Come on, a gorgon is so good at killing dragons. Ow. Did you roll nothing but ones? Dice are nice. Did you call in the dice? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes dice are going to do what dice are going to do, right? That's like call and call I'll rebate them next week. Sad. No. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, convert. You have a printer, Dr. E. Get the mini wargaming converting uh, bases. Now you can play the old world and Age of Sigmar as Cruel Boys with your bone splitters. All right, fine. Play the old world. It's a good game. <laughs> Want to fight my ogres next game? Yes. Um, uh, My next opening is in two weeks, I believe. Give Luca a break. No, for my uh, members only streams. Oh, if you were a consistent okay. member, you'd know about the, or not streams games. Look, if I could, I would, Steve. <laughs> hey, man, I need to believe people, too. I know. That's what I'm here for. I'm out there just putting in dozens and dozens of hours of work out there every week for you to enjoy. I mean, I enjoy I'm, what I'm, the work does. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go check my schedule. Got, see. We've got channel membership dues to pay, you know? Yeah. Some of us got I it. mean, <laughs> as your friend, Steve, I enjoy everything work does to you. I, You know what? I, I, damn, I'm lucky. I, I have to keep saying because it's true. I don't think I don't think I'm qualified for the real world. Like, I could not. There's not a job out there I'm qualified for now. Uh, Pushing buttons. I love, Dr. V, I love those conversion trades. I'm, I'm starting putting them up. All my new lizardmen for my lizardmen army for old world, I'm putting on the converting trays. They're just so freaking good. What are you thinking about that lizardman army? What are you What are you running? Oh, I'm. I'm. Like you remember? I think you were there, Alan. A few weeks ago, there was a, a list I reviewed called um, Space Lasers. Uh, no, I don't think I saw that one. I was oh, okay. I think that was the... There's a list with just a bunch of Bastildons and engines of the gods. And hey, Doctor V, get the five Doctor Mitchell memberships. Super appreciate yeah. that, brother. <laughs> As long as Alan so Cotton doesn't get one. Late. I already got one. Oh, that's right. Late. Kyle Hammond, Shin Nack, uh, something Cappuccino, Michael Champion, and MV. You all think Dr. V. The let's go shops. No, Josh, I literally could not do your job. I would, I well, one, I'd be corrupt and incompetent. Better for the channel <laughs> than the last actual game. What's that again? I, I think you've gotten more influx of the channel from this stream than the last old world game. Yeah, this so, is where you get most of your freaking memberships from, is this. So, I'll, I'll, I'll just for full transparency, um, we're doing good on memberships. They come in, okay. they come in every day. Now, there's cancellations, it's part, it's part of the part of the thing. Uh, memberships were good, but um, since converting over to the new style, we're seeing significantly less super chats and, not significantly, well, significantly uh, super chats and memberships while we're streaming. 
uh, but well, the we're chat growing. is divided, so yeah, it's because yeah. you're dividing chat. I mean, that's to be well, expected. That, I wouldn't say because, but that's part of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, chat's fine. not divided. What do you mean? You have a chat. Well, you got and then Discord you have and Discord. stream chat. Uh, okay, hold on. So Discord chat is um, was yeah. I don't know what they're doing. They just post a bunch of stupid memes and let them do what they want. But we keep we do it. We uh, everything comes through uh, YouTube. We watch all the YouTube chat. Now I do have Michael pulled off the screen a lot so that we can focus on the game because the game does, if you notice, take a lot longer to play. Uh, so we don't want to be there. Like remember, Luke has already when we start the stream, Luke has already been working for eight hours. Oh yeah. So. So yeah, we we, we pulled chat all oh, so, we, so we're not because the streams we used to be done by like seven thirty sometimes before it's the old world, and, and now we're eight thirty nine o'clock. So we have to keep it at a decent pace. But yeah, um, I mean, the, I think the stream ends and start starts and ends at a good time. Yeah, no, I, I agree yeah. with that too. No, I, the more I, direct my, engagement my... you have with the chat is going to result in like super chats and yeah, like so. Those... I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys like um the majority of our in the past the majority of our YouTube revenue on the streams came from the first thirty minutes of the stream anyway. Yeah. Oh, uh, when we hung out with chat I'm and did all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um. <laughs> Now we're here, Steve. Say again. That's why we're here, Steve, to bother you. Oh, I know. Pretty I know. much, yeah. But um, now with the audience being literally three times bigger than it was um three months ago, we're seeing less, but um, we're growing faster. So it it's ultimately better. Like I have I have no concerns with that. Like, well, um, I mean, that's why I've donated less as of late because the channel's grown enough that I feel like yeah. You know, I was I was throwing as much as I wanted because I liked I want to see you guys succeed, but now I feel you've stabilized. Yeah, there. absolutely. <laughs> you you guys you guys who've been here from the beginning, all you guys with the red badges, like Doctor V, Spilly, all you guys with the red badges, we are here because of you guys. You owe us no more, and we are doing very well. Um. Oh, Steve, I finally got to play Tomb Kings on a Dragon with Armor of Ages. It felt <laughs> it's so good. So fine. Uh, I like facing it. Yeah, that that's a that's a good damn good dragon. A frustrating dragon, my dude. But yeah, no. Um, but but I want nobody to ever, ever super chat or gift a membership if they can't. Like like we are we're good. If you want to support the channel, we'll take more. But we're growing. Um, I, it, anything anything that comes in, uh, it's just going back to the channel anyway. So just you got uh, you got two months out of me, a rock jock. That's the I hey, I appreciate it. You help you help pay for Michael. Um, thankfully, Mini Wargaming does not charge. The only reason I'm able to do this is Mini Wargaming does not charge me rent. <laughs> so I have a free studio, I mean, and I have really, I have employees. Mini, to pay. Honestly, honestly, Mini Wargaming wouldn't be what it is without you, Steve. I don't know if that's true, but I don't really not that I care. Especially when you were messing with orc models with quirk watching. I remember that video from the giant flying orc ship just flicking orcs off of it. If you don't remember, hey, we'll hear. That was like back in the day. I think it was a Tuesday. When when I I, I here here here. Well, you just Steve just wow. get the ten minutes. Wow, <laughs> uh, I appreciate you. Tell Darren, Fear School, Mango, Fortune Door, Tim, Matthew, Malovich, Justin Tizzle, Wizard Badger, Jason, Alex, Neil. You all think uh, Ninja Steve? What the hell is Ninja Steve? Ninja Steve? I don't know how to pronounce that. Appreciate you. Uh, Gnome Chomsky, so happy to receive get the membership. Love all your content. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Gnome Chomsky. I believe Michael is not I real. I know. Michael will not come on camera. This there is, um, there is a, I have, I, I work on the channel, like, what feels like 24-7. I'm always working on something. I have, um, a, like, the next member, um, milestone I get to. Like there's a certain number I have to like for, for consistent revenue, so I, I plan everything where consistent revenue is. The next one I get to is just another employee. So I see uh, Michael took off the picture that we got of him on the emojis. Did he really? Oh, so yeah, it's, I don't see it there. It's in Discord, but it's not on here. To clarify that thought, I also don't. This is now you kids out there don't listen to what I'm about to say. I also don't believe in savings. So after my expenses are paid, I put a hundred percent of the leftover money into paying people like Dale. Like I buy miniatures and get them painted. 
100% and that's why of it. tax season is so much fun for you. Hey, it honestly, works. yes. That's part of it too, Spoons. You are not wrong. But yeah, I believe in no savings, <laughs> so I put it all back in. But when I get to the next milestone, there'll be less models and another employee. And it's working so far. So I want to get I want to get another employee. I want to get another um on camera guy too. I want to get Ben. Like just uh, Ben's got a full time job. Either way, that's 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 the next goal. But uh, to address Flavor Hero, when when my fall comes. I plan on making it massive and rippling effects amongst the community. I'm yeah, taking others down with me. All the dirt. Covered <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making <laughs> shit up. Like, do you need me to come up there and live with you? Michael will do that in. for you. I don't like to. I will do. You, that. you may not. You will you paint? How well do you paint? How fast do you paint? I do not sadly paint, but I can make it to where you can play video games again. I don't know if I'll be able to do that again. Oh, I'll oh make it gonna, what was that remake that came out this month? Uh, Lone in the Dark? No, not Lone in the Dark. Uh, Final Fantasy VII? No, uh, not that. No, no, not that. Like the, the, the... Alan Wake, I no, think. Oh, that came out already? I forgot about that I one. I think they, they did a remake on that one. I, I, I already know the next time I will take time off work to play a video game will be for Silent Hill 2. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Zach, I know. <laughs> I have a number of you that would do it, I think. No, so Mitch, um, I've already... Okay. I've already talked to Mitch about that. Um, Mitch is on, like, he's. Isn't he still a teacher? He is. So I was, yeah, so when I, okay. So I was figuring out who the next hire was going to be um, a little over two months ago. And I was like, do I need somebody to manage my emails and social media? Do I need somebody to edit for me? Um, ultimately, like, I, I settled on. Brandon, who's one of my moderators, probably not here right now. I hired Brandon as well. He's a contractor, but I took my editing off my plate and gave it to Brandon. But Mitch was like, he was right there. Mitch is more of a cameraman kind of guy. We need we need Mitch there. Oh, I think I see him with that. I think Mitch would be um, fantastic on streams. I want to put Mitch on streams. Yeah, I could see Mitch being popular on YouTube all of a sudden. Bay at the moon. I still, I, we, we need to see his. Today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we need to see Mitch bring back the Mole Man to decimate your Dark Angel forces again. Maul Man, not Mole Man. Commander Maul Man. Oh, Maul Man. Maul Man. <laughs> Maul Man. Commander Maul Man needs to come back and kill Asriel. Because we know what would happen. I still haven't painted my my death, my new Deathwing Knights. Or my Croot. Croot are dirty from what I've seen. Um, I don't know. Well, like, they get a lot of bonuses. I feel like I haven't played 40k in... Because you haven't, Steve. I can't remember the last time I played 40k. I legitimately can't. I need more 40k from you, Steve. I need the Iron Warriors bus. I can't remember my last 40k Heresy or Sigmar game. I've been all old world. Even for Mini Wargaming, I think all the games I've recorded for them have been old world. The last 40k game I saw for Mini Wargaming, I think it was actually surprisingly Josh doing something. And 40K? I think, yeah, he did. Oh, no, that was the Knights and the uh, Knights and Dark Eldar that was putting down on Richard. Old World's the hot new 40-year-old game. Yeah. It is the game that started all games. It is the game. I'm a little yeah. bored with it. <laughs> I think it needs... For, for me, it needs a reset. Got to get that 40K game going. You got to see those Dark Angels and Iron Warriors and shooting only Orc lists. I Did think you he... enjoy the Dark Angels drop, Steve? No, it was bad. We're good. I mean, um, we got, I mean, we got, got a, a, we got a, force, so. we got a new unit that was inferior to Blade Yard veterans, and they cost more. Wow. Uh, uh, we had a unit oh. that wasn't brought a lot get nerfed, the Deathwing Knights. We had a brand new character whose rules were beyond useless. What are these rules? I wish to know. Um, we got a new uh, Belial model. He, uh, you want to take, you want to. There are some really good options for putting characters in units. One, you can bring a librarian and give them lethal hits. 
And or yeah. you bring a chaplain for plus one to wound and melee, really good for dark angels. Yeah. You can bring a captain, and you can have like a free uh, 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 stratagem every turn, really powerful. You can bring Boyle, which gives you lethal, sorry, um, precision against characters. Wow. Oh, so put him with the snipers, baby. Woo! In melee. In, me- In melee. And snipers already have precision. So you put him on Blade Guard Veteran, I guess? Why? Oh, he can't. He's a Terminator armor. He can only join Terminators. <laughs> He's just bad. Blade Guard are turns than Deathwing. And then, right, yeah. and then I can't even remember the stats for the Deathwing Companions, but they're just not as good as uh, Blade Guard Veterans. Deathwing Companions. Yeah, I don't know. And then doesn't that just make Johnson the got his um, minus one to wound removed? What? Why? I don't know. Like he probably was too powerful. I don't know. It just this is the uh, this is the addition of taking things away. From and what I can feels tell, bad. Johnson was probably one of the motor balanced Primarchs, wasn't he? Uh no. <laughs> no. Uh, I guess I misheard. Never mind. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's the only thing I like about the Dark Angels, Johnson. That's well, it. he was a force multiplayer. He wasn't like a, you send him up by himself and he wrecks the enemy. He just makes all your stuff better. Can't all, Everybody can't have an Angron, you know? I don't know, man. Spoos, he wrecked the enemy. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's going to be strong, but I'm saying, like, he, 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 his buffs were better than his attacks. If, if you threw a bunch of devastating wounds on him, he's going to die. Uh, from shooting, but otherwise he's one of the best things to fight in combat. Like he's mm-hmm. damn good. Well, I hope so. He's got a sword and board. <laughs> tenth feels bad compared to ninth. So not tenth edition and ninth edition are the exact same edition because the missions are the same, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah. boring, 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 boring. Progressive scoring. I've decided. I, I've come to the realization. I don't like progressive scoring. No, I don't hate it. It's just it, it's 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 boring. I miss the old old proper maelstrom but that's all that doesn't matter and then uh 10th edition is just the addition of taking things away remember that really cool yeah. rule you had take it away now granted things were too killy this is this is a weird there's no this could be the forever criticism game are gonna get because we all complained and i did too 10th, 9th edition was so killy if something's out in the open it's just dead we have to tone these things down and now we're toning everything down and all that feels like is you're losing stuff and yeah. so what you want and what you get it's never the same thing like they Gamers give... are never happy. I'm never happy. I'm not trying to criticize it. I right now it's just boring, and I feel like the game is going. I think potentially the game has to go through this, and it's uh, intended to go through this addition of taking things away, kind of like a soft reset, so we start giving things back again. But like, they it's not to... power creep anymore. It's power sleep. They need to <laughs> give Death Guard a five up funeral pain across the army again. That's all they got to do. No, I don't know. Look at no. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about this, because I could be. And do, nobody take what I'm about to say is accurate, because I'm so far to loop of 40k right now. My understanding is every army in 10th edition that has received a codice has dropped about five percent in the tournament standings, except the Necrons who went to number one. Aren't the Gene Stealer Colt still strong as crap too? I don't know. You know what? I, I, I can't talk intelligently about 10th edition. I'm you so know, far to the loop. Can we yeah. just get? My Jag Attack on remake, so I can have my no. Space Mongolian. No, you can't have your Space Mongolian. I no, love my Space Mongolian on a bike. Elder or Broken no. since the beginning. It's unfun to play against them. Uh, they're not the worst anymore, uh, Mike. They're not the worst anymore. But yeah, I, uh, I remember my, my very first game of 10th edition. Yeah, 10th edition was with my Eldar. And get this, get this. Um, I didn't choose to play them. So Josh. Figured we had a week of 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 tenth edition content, so Josh matched up everybody, so we have all of the armies out in the first week. So Steve, you gotta play Elder. No big deal. I'll play Elder. I have another guy. Uh, I'm gonna look at what I have. I have just a Wraith army, pretty much, because I made my Elder, Elder army to be Wraiths because they were the right. bad things in eighth edition. So I have a now Wraith they're... army. I go play the very first game, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Like it just every, everything's immortal. Everything is. Uh, doing d6 mortal wounds i have a bunch of wraith cannons and uh, seven ways to make a dice automatically six it was ridiculously overpowered they're not that bad anymore they've been heavily 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 toned down i think eldar are probably in a decent spot but still good but yeah there was a time Bam is still oppressive is it still oppressive or just really good it's it's still oppressive 
Fair. It, it de depending on what army you're playing. Like if you're doing a guard with a heavy infantry one, they're oppressive. Thank you, Zaja. I appreciate you. Keep me, keep me honest. Elder are fine now. Death Guard are fine with the Twin of Pain. I agree with Luca. I don't even know what Luca's opinions are about them. Me sitting here with Necrons, but at the same time, Tenth is so balanced right now. Almost everything is on. Is that true? I thought Necrons were like something dumb. Yep, yeah, I think you have to bring certain things for Necrons to make them super dumb. What's the um? How do I find the Warhammer Forty K? I, I imagine that... you have to be running that uh, teleporty detachment. I was yeah. day one. I said this was crazy overpowered. Everybody's like, "No, I gotta do the Rathos." Like the Rathos is good. Don't get me wrong. It's a teleporty one. No, it literally they teleport every turn wherever you want them. How how you not realize that's overpowered? Is is, like, is that is that the current new hotness or is it like what is the tournament meta for them? Is it the teleporty one or is it the the um the canoptic one? I would assume teleporty because score hammer. Score hammer. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Well, what, what, well, let's not assume. Does anybody know an answer? Yeah. Everything except admech. That's right. Admech or yeah. rip admech. Poor guys. They're already. I think one of the most expensive oh, Elda colors to point. Eldari, <laughs> number one. Well, tied with Necrons, 56%. That's actually... Well, I mean, they are the that's not, heaven armies. That's not bad, guys. That's 56 is... You want it at 55. That's actually not bad. That's a pretty good uh, win rate for these armies. Now, you know, some armies are at 45%. Like what? What's 45? Uh, please, please enlighten me. Imperial Knights, Tyranids, Astral Therum, Dracarian, Blood Angels, all 45 Really? Well, yeah, Tyranids were the first Codex, weren't they? This spread's not bad, actually. I mean, 45, between 40, 45 I and hate, 60, I think that's a good spread. I hate Leagues of Votan sitting there at 3. I can't even play my Leagues of Votan in a 2000-point game. Can't do it. Don't have enough models. Yeah. I mean, if you double your collection, you might be able to make a 1500-point league. I'm not. Yeah. I am. That's so dumb. I am not going to comment on Leagues of Votan. So I don't want to make Steve yell at me. Stupid space doors. They need to go back to stupid space board biker space doors with, with trains. Yeah, Zen, I can get rid of stragglers too. I played five to ten. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm assuming you're playing the hyper phase, whatever it's called. The 4K comp guy for Jupiter. They're also playing. I if I mean, it would be legal in a couple of weeks to laugh and left. Uh, nope. That's uh, rough. <laughs> I mean, four Catan's pretty impressive. Or five Catan, sorry. And off the got hit hard with a nerf. Awakening has been coming out. What got, what? I didn't even know there was a nerf. What was the nerf, uh, Zach? I didn't, I didn't even know. <laughs> Where is Admech? Uh, Admech was 46%. So there's like Gray yeah. Knights, Death Watch, Admech, and Demons yeah. at 46%. Uh, Grey Knights have been bad for a while. They play fun though. Oh yeah, they play fun, but they've been. You know what's at fifty percent? Death Guard. It, well, of course it's Death Guard. They're always orcs are at fifty-two percent. I hate. Uh, that the 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 big thing for me was orcs got really really unfun to play. So, well, you couldn't bring your vehicles anymore. Well, that's because all you roll is five, Steve. No, I said unfun to play. I think I that think it is unfun for everybody but I think I won every, if not most, games I played with orcs in tenth edition. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm not saying they're weak, I just said they were boring. World Eaters? You got somebody, yeah, they're asking where world eaters are. World eaters were high if I remember correctly, and I hate the way they play in this edition. Well it's it's mean they're just run, charge, murder. And Gron. Isn't, that, isn't that the point? Yeah, but that is their that is literally what their point is though. That's why I like them. Wait, how come charged murder, not necessarily in that order. True. Wait a second, how come there's no world leaders on the, the metal watch? Eldari, Necrons, Votan, Space Chaos Space Marines, Space Wolves, Chaos Knights, Orcs. Do you think they Depth count of Sororities, them as Chaos Thousand Sons, Death Guard, Tau, Depths of Thirties, Dark Angels, G Steelers, Disney Custodies, Grey Knights, Death Watch, Mechanicus, Demons, Imperial Knights. Here it is, Astral Terum, Drukari, Blood Angels. Where are these already on the list? This is a Games Workshop article. Do you think they 
lump them with Space Marine? They probably did. They probably lumped Death Guard. Oh, not Death Guard. Uh, they lumped World Eaters with Space Marine or Chaos Space Marines, probably. Eternal belts know. isn't what they're addressing. What are we talking about? I think it's all they're addressing. Oh, internal belts. Sorry, never mind. My bad. I misunderstood. Gage, I agree with what you're saying, actually. I miss seventh edition armor. I loved the armor values in seventh edition. It was all or nothing. Um, I started forty. I basically started forty k in seventh edition. So that's what I it's, too. It's, That's why I liked it. I get why some people didn't. Look, I'm happy with some armor not being hurt by some guns because that's what the point of armor is. Yeah, exactly. That's true. So I don't like melee and orcs are forced to melee. Um, I do miss armor facings a little bit. I have a. I painted up for for tenth edition a massive massive um ultramarines army i can have full dreadnought lists full land raider lists full gravis lists full no 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 the bikes aren't done yet but like massive uh, ultramarine army i'm like ah, it's boring. <laughs> i remember that one dark angel army you made where it was all vehicles and one character that gave them all a four but yeah that was an eighth edition that was that was uh short-lived what yeah i would bet so not what was that bike detachment you brought in ninth edition? I think it was it just tabled whatever you went against. Oh, that was was like it turn a... one knights. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I rolled well. <laughs> was it, I mean, you don't roll I, well. If I recall going back to like the beginning of eighth edition, it was all right, everyone set up, roll off to see who goes first. Whoever's going second concedes, and then you move on to the next game. <laughs> We we know. did a we did a video. I don't know if I should tell you guys to go look for it, but it was um, it was one of our our stupid Christmas videos. No, it was stick to itiveness. It was stick to itiveness. So Colin and I had this. <laughs> I'm embarrassed talking about it. It was about me being um visited by the three ghosts of war gaming past, present, and future. And then <laughs> when we got to like the one where Chris is like, I think Chris was. I can't even talk. I'm so embarrassed just thinking about it. I don't even think I've ever seen. I don't think you'll ever post it because I don't want to care. Age of Sigmar, uh, Realms of Ruin is twelve dollars on Steam right now. Seriously? Are you serious? Yeah, there's a it's, uh, there's a sale for that publisher across their entire. Yeah. Plan. It's because they released so few armies. I think uh, I suck at got two bad. DLC now for new heroes, but I suck at I mean, video games. I couldn't get past that one mission and stop playing. Honestly, it's literally just Warhammer, Dawn of War three, Age of Sigmar is all that game is. That's literally what it is, but but smaller. Like the matches yeah. are tiny. That's oh, it's what they were trying to do with uh, Dawn of War three. Turn it into a MOBA. Yeah. And I hate that crap. Hey, Dawn of War yeah. 3 was great. I'll if, it, if it was Age of Sigmar, Dawn of War 1. Dawn of War 3 was okay. I wouldn't hold your breath, building. Zach. Because <laughs> they actually still had base building in Dawn of War 3, which made me happy, but the the game modes were what ruined Dawn of War 3, in it my opinion. Su- it was super micro-intensive. Yeah. Like that, nope. I can see why that would turn people off, but I had a blast with it. I love the mods they have out for it right now. Like right, the okay. chaos I, I, action I, they made? I can't. I have too much work to do. I have to. Dude, Steve, you need to fight for democracy and for super. I know, I can't. Wait, hell divers? Oh, I want to play. <laughs> Dude, you would get so many people playing with you on that. I'd play with you on that. You oh, can't I'd be there in a heartbeat. I oh, don't play. I've not got any interest in that game. Do you know how many times I would accidentally drop a nuke on Steve? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I have work to do. If I can, when we get, uh, I'm going to keep working hard at this, and when I get enough employees or contractors, whatever, where I don't have to, con- well, you know what? It's it's rebasing all the armies and, and adding all the... Somebody donate Steve a stable <laughs> payroll for a new worker so we can play Helldivers with him. I think, yeah. I think I have, I have another 12 months of pushing really, really hard on the channel. That I can just put it in a reasonable amount of time in the channel and just you know, yeah. I, I but I, I have to make sure I have all of the models for all of the armies. For we the, call just the that old world. making it, Steve. 
We call that yeah. making it. Oh, I made it today. I was born, brother. Making it, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, <don't> it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Sorry. I mean, you'd be streaming the video game, right? Like, I mean, that, I know, that, but I mean, like, um, probably grow the channel. Like, if you, if you did a yeah, but okay, <laughs> there's no point. Me streaming Hell Divers with you guys. Uh, any any new. There's no point putting resources to grow not a part of your core audience. If, uh, any new viewers coming for Helldivers aren't going to help the, the Warhammer part. So it might as well, might as well be a separate channel altogether. And I'm going to do Warhammer because I love me some Warhammer. So it's a fun extra thing I can do to hang out with you guys. I mean, technically, but, yeah. Helldivers is just Warhammer in another dimension. They have a bolt gun. I mean, they just straight up mm-hmm. have a bolt gun. It's awesome. I mean, we're uh, fighting the, the Necrons. Yes, <laughs> the Tyranids, soon yes. to be the Tau, but more, more illuminated than Greater Goody. The Venn diagram is probably more circular than you'd think, but you know. When Zen, I will do that when all of the models are painted. So that means every army, I have all six. How many armies are there? Sixteen. When I have all 16 armies able to play every which way their faction can play, so every every unit in every army, then oh, the new I will allow here. myself some video game time. That the being new... said, I will take time off for Silent Hill 2, the remake, when it comes out this year. And if a new Resident Evil dropped this year, which we're not getting one this year, I would take time for that. But Did you play that, oh, Resident Evil 4? Oh. That's the one you were probably thinking about. Oh, I played, no, I, 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 I played the hell of that. Yeah, dude, I love that. That's one I would even play, too. But the new thing they dropped in Helldivers, the new enemy, is amazing, by the way, Steve. Do you know what it is? Democracy. No, it's a mobile oh, factory. No, no, it's a mobile factory for for the, um, the automatons. It's a AT-AT that, like, spawns other units. It's pretty cool. It is cancer. And you can't drop into it. You drop on it. You can't go through it with a drop pod. It makes me sad. You need a glass of water, Al. Just, do you I'm know, um, um, like when I used to, like, me working I mean, many, many years ago, we always have interns where they would just come from high school and just work for free. Do How you have one... a multi million dollar business, Steve? I do not. Then you don't get unpaid intern. I do pay myself tens of dollars at the end of the year. I mean, that's always nice, too, but. You you can't exploit people because you're exploiting yourself right now. Um, doing taxes for last year. After all my expenses and the time I put into the channel, I paid myself eight dollars an hour. For how I mean, many hours, though? Uh, I don't remember, but it was uh, um, just over two thousand last year. More hours than are in the year. No, no, no I wish. <laughs> That's still not enough, Steve. And that's Canadian dollars too. That's sad. Yes, yeah, so that's like five dollars American. <laughs> okay. So yeah, two thousand hours is like. You know what they just I, made minimum wage in Florida? I would have made uh, more money flipping burgers, but I got a lot of armies and a five thousand so dollar tower rate. Like I bought so much hey, stuff. I mean, you you <laughs> still have your house. I can tell you're eating yeah. well. Um. <laughs> You're having fun at your job. I, am, I mean, I'm, does that I'm, sound no. like a, that doesn't sound like a loss to me? <laughs> no, when I, I I say it that way, so it sounds like oh, I'm working for nothing. No, like oh, my bills are paid, my art, my channel's growing, the business is growing. I am well fed. I have all the toys I now need. Now we just need to get you to make more shirts. <laughs> oh, it's true. That's the more thing. I need the Eldar, Steve. Why do you guys keep buying good you know, Why do you guys keep buying those stupid shirts? Because they're the best shirts in the world. I want one. I can't no, no, find no, no, it no. anymore. The hoodie was a good quality, but that, that logo, like, gone after the first wash. I also want a version of that shirt as a hat. Flammable Hero minimum wage here is 15 bucks an hour. Steve, you need yeah, fezzes. That's what it is. In you need to Florida make fezzes. Days. Say again? We need a mound miniatures fez. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What's that? The, the, you know, the, uh, who? the like, cup hat. <laughs> The red circular hat with a little tassel that comes off it. Uh, the Last Crusade, the guys that were hiding the Ark, the hat they were wearing. <laughs> yeah. No, those were those guys that were trying to... Wait. One did. 
I was the thinking se- of the, the, the secret Mark. order in in Last Crusade. Yeah, that's that's the, right. It was. I don't have anybody to to design the shirts anymore. Um, that Steve. job was done by uh, uh, Colin's girlfriend. Steve, you paint miniatures for a living. Not well. You make a shirt. I can't yeah. freaking. I can't do art. I take paint out of a pot and throw it where games workshop tells me to. But games workshop doesn't tell you where to put it. They do with pictures. You just look. No, they do look with pictures. And put it yourself. <laughs> You're it's a copy. Look in general wargaming. That's what you need. But like branded for the. Show. I need to see this. I need this general wargaming. Where is it? I was so excited. I would wear the hell. Can't <laughs> find the channel. Why is my brain stupid? <laughs> Fezzes are cool. That's true. I don't. I don't. I still can't find it. Where's where does where I'll, I'll, I'll order one? I will wear a oh, fez. Yes, fezes. That is a fez, Steve. Those things are amazing. The British fell in love with them after they conquered the Middle East. Okay, get, this is the part of the stream. Every stream it happens. I'm going to take two seconds. I'm going to go see if I can buy a fez right now. Yes. <laughs> Where we always do a little bit of shopping in every stream. It's it's like a hoodie, or not a hoodie, it's like a beanie, but it doesn't keep your head warm, and it doesn't cover your ears. How does one spell this? Which is perfect for you, because you're as bald as we are. Steve. <laughs> it's really good at covering up the bald spots in the back of our head, too. I, I found a... St- I'm not bald, I'll never go bald. You lie to me, Steve. I'm looking at your head right now. I know, this is, yeah, this all fell out. It's literally what I do to my hair because the front of it has nothing. Uh, there, you can't buy a fez on Amazon, and that's where I do ninety percent of my shopping. That I am just paying for the lines. I don't believe that, but okay. Yeah, I see. A Zach, you want to design shirts? Twenty bucks. You, I see, he says he can't find a fez on it. You wouldn't want me to design your shirt, Steve. Steve, you I found like a page full. No, I, spoons. spoons. Okay, I don't feel like you understand the point of being a Canadian. Why uh, no, is I it you every Why? after every sentence? I'm not Canadian, so no, I don't. You get you oh. get free healthcare. Uh, a boost and a boost. No, you do not. Trust me. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, let me, let me educate you people. I have been I have been waiting for a doctor since October of 2022. I'm a type one diabetic and asthmatic. I have to I have to pay ninety dollars to see a doctor online just to refill asthma inhalers. So Stop. y'all are all military A-free. VA. Um. Okay. So my, Canada Amazon has no Fez to sell me. Any of Canadians yeah. out there know where to buy a Fez? Look, I need Storm Bolter to get Steve a Fez because they're <laughs> everywhere in England. Or sorry, the United Kingdom. Don't 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 stab me. <laughs> so she's a... Storm Bolter needs a Fez. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Josh, Josh, that's messed up because I found out online. That's true. It kind of does. It's weird. You, oh, no. Canada is literally the worst war crimeing country in the world. I heard our military's motto is it's not a war crime the first time. Oh, yeah. boy. Get the 10 <laughs> Mountain Miniatures memberships. Thank you, brother. So, here I shovel. Membership this, this stream. That's right. That's why, we in, that's why we in America love you guys up there. Look up, look up. Maybe he's got a membership. See, you all think Carl Boyd if you got one. Yeah, Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf got one. in Crab. Gabrielle Sampson. Grizzard the Grizzors the Guadachta got one. Um, Price. my my insulin bill is about fifteen hundred bucks a month. Am uh, I'm getting bad. Ooh. It's still cheaper than America. You know, what? you know what? I'm going to take this time to think about you guys, even though I should probably do this privately. Um, my channel paid for all that. Um, you guys kept me alive. It took... Uh, there's, a, there's a program here I that... Think, like, I that, think that means you need to thank Spoons. True. All of you guys, actually. No, like... like um, There's a program here that, that, that pays uh, medication for that kind of stuff. Um, it takes forever to get on it. Uh, I just got approved. Um, so the last three years, uh, the, you guys kept me alive by paying for my insulin. I'm glad we could keep you alive, Steve. I had, I had my insulin bills were uh, as cheap as about a thousand bucks a month. Um, it's not terrible. Right now, it's about 
15, I think. But this is the first time I don't have to pay for out of pocket. 15? Which is, I'll tell you this, guys, as well. I like to be transparent. Is also partial the reason why I stopped working full time for Mini Wargaming because I needed to work full time for them and for this channel to to cover all these things. Now that I finally get this stuff covered by yeah. the government, um, I'm able to not work 80 hours a week and you know not kill myself working so much. So yeah, no, uh, you the channel is keep me alive. Appreciate it. Now it's all good. Now uh, the government covers that, so I can work less. Is why. I'm able to finally work less for mini wargaming. Steve, Max Sutton is right. No, Flamble Hero, only 90 bucks, but it's supposed to be free. Remember, I pay a lot of taxes for it to be free. That's true. The Geneva checklist. That's right, Zach Moore. What did Max say? You mean Max Dr. V's channel? That's right. That's right, Max. You're right. Dr. V's channel. <laughs> uh. The I know, just Drew. You guys get your 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 insulin for free, right? I thought about moving over because this is. You remember a few weeks ago? Because I just got covered a few weeks ago. I was talking about like you know what? I think as a Canadian, I'm able to move to England without any kind of paperwork, right? Because the Commonwealth. It was because your insulin's like free. I mean, at least you're not in Mexico, Steve. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I have no idea how their medical system works. Is their insulin free? There isn't one. <laughs> Oh, come on. Mexico has a medical system. Get out of here. <laughs> God damn America sometimes. Eh? It's, it's it, deep, you, you quit, but it's not have, good. They have a, yeah, they, they have a universal health care system, but how, how uh, universal? You, you could be in the States and it'd be a fair chance that uh, oh, no, I'd rather your have name Mexico would pop up States. across my mm. desk. So. No, I know Canadians <laughs> have went to Mexico for procedures. Usually yeah, dental, yeah, that's but... That's because those procedures are super cheap there. Yeah, I don't know. But like getting insulin would probably cost a lot more. I don't know about I don't know about that. Damn, you just eat that's some I'd kill for that's basically twenty two bucks Canadian for I I think you could buy a gun cheaper than insulin there. We just capped insulin here in the US. Like the very like 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 matter of months (laughs) ago. Well that's because like hundreds and thousands of dollars and now it's like only thirty five. Yeah. I'm gonna text Scarry and ask him how the Mexican uh, medical system works. I want to hear Scari's answer because that's that's something I want to know. And how would Scari Mexican? Yeah, I did not know that. You didn't hear the accent? He looks more Middle Eastern to me. <laughs> no, stop laughing. I thought, like, I, I thought he was North African or something. Yeah, they <laughs> they have a they have a like they have a health service that. Covers most things. Yeah, I'm from Texas. I, I'm always biased against Mexican people. Texas. Alan, you're on yeah, the internet. Oh, yeah. Steve, run the, the, away. The, I, I didn't say I hate them. I just said bias. That doesn't mean I don't like them. Look, cool look, you, 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 you they make the greatest food away. in your, mankind. Your opinion doesn't That's matter true, yeah. if you're from Texas. <laughs> if it wasn't for Mexicans, I'd never had breakfast tacos, so I could never not like them. So, Ginger Steve, um, so, Scary, um, he... Mexican who lived, I think, in his teenage years in England for a few years, and then to Canada. Nice. Um, so his, his, his accent's been adjusted over the years. <laughs> you mean diluted? Yep. Hey, not everyone looks Middle Eastern to Americans, all right? Alan does not speak for all of us. Just like 60%. He just speaks for Texans. That's right. Steve, I just bought a 2,000 point tree spirit army for the old world. Do you think what else will get a tree spirit theme list in the Arcane Journal? Okay, so I'll say this. I, I, for your shame. I do too. I uh, I have been wrong in every one of my predictions on the Arcane Journals, but I also think, yes, they are going to get one. So, did, probably not now. So, then, oh, Derek, so yes. Did you, at least, did you at least get Durthu in this list? Popcorn. Josh, don't make it worse. We're, we're bleeding well, viewers now. <laughs> uh, we're not bleeding nothing. Alan, you're my favorite yeah, way to end the stream. My five while you you're welcome. That. That's what I'm here for. That's all I'm good at. <laughs> that and terrible jokes. I don't. So I don't know if 
I don't know if my accent would ever get adjusted by moving anywhere else. Steve, you live too close to Niagara Falls to have an accent. Well, no, what I mean is, what I mean is, I can't do other accents. Like, I can't even imitate somebody else's accent. I can't make, I can't call, do any accent at all. Can't do it. So, this is what I'm going to sound like forever. Well, how do you say taco? Taco. Okay. 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 See, see, see taco. Because technic- technically, <laughs> te- that's the mid, the Midwest is in America. Nobody <laughs> says taco. Yes, they do. Your Midwest is basically the same thing. It's like, we have the my, same accent. My uncle's wife is from Minnesota, and when she moved to Texas and married him, she would be like, Alan, do you want some tacos? And I'm like, no, Carl, you stay here. Carl, don't go anywhere. You stay here. Yes. <laughs> Carl, how do you pronounce taco? <laughs> that and quesadillas. Well, quesadillas they do make say sense. No, 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 they do say that. They say quesadillas instead of quesadillas. Well, yeah, but those people, people say also that don't put stuff. sugar in their tea or their cornbread, so they can yeah. eat out of here. Does anybody from the Midwest? Is anybody from the Midwest here? And you guys say taco? Yes, they I'm, do. Some I'm of them from, do say taco. From the Midwest. Or, sorry, sorry. I'm from the Midwest. I've never. Yeah, you, you speak up, Texas. Ryan. You shut down Texas. No, no. Taco. There, Everyone there says aren't taco. tacos in the Midwest. Okay. What? <laughs> He's never said taco before. He's so full of shit. No, they have. Let's get some more facts with Alan. Um, <laughs> Rules says written. <laughs> I, have a, I got a fact for you. Technically, the human body does not know what wet feels like. Well, technically, what? the human body doesn't know what anything feels like because you're That's chewing true. the air between your fingertips. Exactly. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we used to talk about Warhammer and stuff? Yeah, we can still talk about Warhammer hey, stuff. And I do want you to know, though, your bones are wet. That's true. <laughs> Thank you, blood. Because blood is like 70% water. Well, you're supposed but... to say robots. Right. Is robots? It just oh. like it's Gerblins and Durgans. Mario? I hate people say Mario. Mario. I'm Mario Mario. Ugh. <laughs> My Ugh. favorite. What, what about. What about. Robots instead of robots. I know sneering Brit. I know robots is perfectly acceptable. What about robotos? That's just dumb. Now you're being dumb, Mister Roboto. Ah, oh, you brought you brought back around. You're good. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> Mister Roboto. I'll throw some take. That's true. They do. They're Boss too fancy. Crow. For Boss that. Crow. That's how you're supposed Boss to pronounce Crow. it. Boss Crow. <laughs> Mary O. Do you know, you know, um, I'm going to throw him under the bus because I love the kid. Uh, one of the mods, who's not always around, but he's always in the Discord getting work done, um, Constantine. Uh, yeah. I, I love that kid. He's awesome. I don't think he no, gets my crazy. jokes because he sends me um, essays on how to pronounce things. You know, this is the one time he's in stream. Good. To see this. I told him this. Like, it's a joke, dude. Germans, you have no sense no, of humor. You, yeah, the, the Germans. What do you? You don't do jokes with Germans, Steve. Have I you know not it's not a Robin tree Williams bucket. Talking about them, the German words are just sentences describing Rock the Rock thing Rock. with yes. all of the spaces removed. That's all they are. Dark elves pronounce it. I, they nope. have one word that is a full sentence in German. I don't think I can say Stegatron properly anymore. Stegatron. Well, remember. Dark elves are Australian. Just remember that. No, they're North American. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. They're Canadian. Oh, I got a really That's the war crime. So it, it all stems from the D&D lore. They live down under, you see. Because so, the dark elves are, are all up in Canada around like what the Hudson Bay effectively. Yeah. But, so I wonder who like, the Americans are. Like, Is there like some like like sad well, the, group? The like, lizardmen are pushing up. The lizardmen are pushing up, right? So yeah. like. So the the the, the lizard the Mayan lizardmen are also the Americas. Oh, As I feel they're, they're the Americans America. are the Bretonian expedition and empire forces that are landing. Yeah. Like, yeah, so like, it's it's Charles, man. You're right, Steve. Steve, <laughs> Steve. It's the Aztec lizardmen because the Aztec lizardmen destroyed the Mayan lizardmen. I mean, you know what? I don't know how that works. Fair. <laughs> there is something there with the like Ulthuan, which is you know like. Great Britain having their huge empire and being the good guys fighting to save the world, and then the Dark Elves being this horrible slave empire in North America. Knock it off. All one is Atlantis. 
I mean, <laughs> dark elves, slaves. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dark elves are just Canadians. No, yeah. dark elves are. Oh man, I'm we have a it. we have a dark I'm past. Not it's, it. it's... I'm not saying it. <laughs> you 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 do, Steve. Yeah, you I know, had. Canadians I'm are... telling you, the the Canadian. It's not taught in schools. I was in my 30s before I learned you all this were stuff. Not nice yeah, to because no, they're. <laughs> oh, I know. No. I didn't do it, anybody. I didn't do it. I wasn't here. I mean, technically, my family, my family Canadians, came over in the fifties. Where where you are was primarily British, though, Steve. Look at, I yeah. wasn't here. Imperialism, Steve. That's all I'm saying. Look, he was trying to live the Godfather life, but he was thirty years late. So. <laughs> Actually, Max Sutton, Dark Elves are Dutch. From the what Dutch. the Belgians did. The, the Belgians are Belgians Dutch. and Dutch different. I don't know. I don't they're know. Not. They're both. I miss, I miss Warhammer. Dutch. <laughs> I know. I'm Belgian. Okay. No, you're American. I'm, no, I am German Belgian with a little bit of American. No, you're American. Are we going to uh, have another stream clip? Are you French? Are you, are you French? French? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I still think Bretonians shouldn't be the only ones with the lance formation. That's their thing. No, that's the, 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 all the empire g- thing. The, the empire get, was it? Yes. All was that was that okay, do uh, wedge formation? Legitimate question. I did not know this. I, I, I do not know. Was this a um, like historically speaking? Was this yeah. a thing done? Uh, in Europe, or across the world, it was like the way to charge the world. The <laughs> in the world, I don't know, whatever. I was the a ninth world. century soldier, not a ninth century Chinese, knight. Give me a break. The Chinese did it. It is the way to use cavalry. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, it's it makes sense. Wedge. Fine. It's not a lance <laughs> formation. It's called a wedge formation. They even did it with infantry. Look at in every movie so I've effective. seen. In every movie I've seen, heavy cavalry are in a skirmish formation. No, that's because they have liabilities and they have to be careful about the horses not dying. Like when when the British charged skirmish. Mel Gibson and the Scots, they were in a loose line. Yes, when Colin like Farrell the and the Macedonians were charging into the other guys, um, they were all in a skirmish formation. No, I don't who are the other guys. The Macedonians guys? didn't use cavalry; they used. I know chariots. this. Answer. Hold on, I'm just brain farting. They were char- they were fighting the um the people Persian east of uh, the Persians. Thank you, the Persian Steve. <laughs> I, I was gonna let him suffer. <laughs> to be fair, though, a brick of knights in Warhammer is like like yeah. six to ten dudes. Like it's yeah, nothing, know. you know, right? It's, like it's not like three... the two hundred man charges of your yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even so though it should doesn't play really over here, you, you can charge, brother. I mean, sorry, you can charge. You can try, brother. I don't think there's any shame in this old world talk. <laughs> even the per- even Sasha and Gind are like Persian Steve. I'm not Persian. I know I know nothing about anything, okay? I play we Warhammer for a living. Play- no, I can't no, work no. a real job you, anymore. It doesn't then that means you need to read history books, Steve. Ah, who's got the time? Canada and the Dark Elves are in bad comparison. Canada's the reason the Geneva Convention exists from World War One. Thank you for that, that digger, true. Mark McGuire. That apparently, is it's not a war crime the first time. Canada is the reason why there is a Geneva Convention. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I exactly, Josh. That. And they went to a skirmish formation. Oh, Josh, you're right. They used the drilled whilst they're charging. Yeah. The Rohirrim used yeah. drilled while charging yeah. the orcs. That's true. Battle Bellamar Fields. <laughs> the tip point of the charge was the leader. Yeah. To be fair, Most, I wouldn't trust and, the leader but, whose battle cries, Death! Death! <laughs> and his main weapon for charge was a short sword. Then he also just doled on every spear in the front. Yeah. <laughs> Gidget Steve. His horse did get skewered by the man, giant bikes. I, I didn't know that, Gidget Steve. I don't have to know that because I'm not qualified for anything. Yeah, we need to get Josh to start teaching you, Steve, history. Nah. He knows a thing or two. I've I've watched him. Oh, guys. 
This stream is done. Mountain mini mountain miniature spin-off historical war games channel. That's right. I need this in my life. I will be here for every single one I of those. Just like to be like, no, Steve, you're wrong. It's some Napoleonics <laughs> going. <laughs> they pike and shot war games were the, yeah. the the bee's knees, dude. And we're the cat's pajamas. How do you feel about historics, Steve? I think they're, I walk off. They're yeah. lame. <laughs> You're I'm lame. Serious. I'm serious. I'm going I, to play. I, I hate them. I'm, I'll never play them. They're like no. I'll joke you aside. There was a there was a time when I was gonna cover um, Hail yeah, Caesar. Sharp. Uh, and then I want to do I want to do um a Macedonian army with elephants. Uh, mm -hmm. but uh, but couldn't get. I need need somebody else to you know have at least some investment, and nobody else really wanted to. So. Well, that's why I played Middle Earth be Herod with elephants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> you want to you wanna do historical elephants, you go to Carthage. I know. In Egypt. Possible. Most, like, most historical games are set up to, like, huh. recreate specific battles. They, aren't really, they really like, are. Games yeah. in the sense that right. they're, like, intended to be modular. Like, that's why, that's why I like EU4. That game can be really crazy. <laughs> And funny at the same time. It's true, Max. Yeah. Dark Max, but uh, can you can you elaborate on that? Dark Max says uh, the old world is becoming more and more enticing as 40k is starting to catch on fire. What do you mean by that? I'm very curious. Like, I don't. Yeah, I'm... that is a good question. I'm curious about that too. I, I need more elaboration. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know about his thing is, but I have noticed the people who play 40k just getting more and more like negative about it. I don't know how yeah. to describe other than that. Like, and not even just recently, like over the past years, it just seems like they hate the game that yeah. even though they played the crap well, out of it. I, 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 think, I don't I don't get it. But. I think what you're seeing is mm -hmm. um not 40k. I think I think it's the old players not liking the current direction. And people fall off from the game. Usually you get you're busy with life, you get older, you don't have time for these games. Um and then 40k is clearly making a crap ton of money. They're doing very well, uh, catering to the tournament community, and it's the it's the right call. You can't say it's not if you know they they have to be hold, beholden to their shareholders, right? They got to make money, and they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. But but um, the way Dark Match by Dark Dark Angels, I know Dark Angels was I know I know brother, it was bad. But the way um, the way you uh, you said it, I kind of got the feeling that you think. The game is dying. You know what? I, I, I can only use YouTube as my gauge. Are, are, are 40K views down across the board? Right now, well, it's because the old world is dominating the Warhammer, everything right now, but 40K is not as popular as the old world. Like, I see way more the old world on my feeds than I mean, 40K. That's like YouTube tailors to your algorithm. Yeah, exactly. That's you should look at uh, Zach Moore's uh, Zach Moore's post, Steve. I got See, like, board, so. I the fell off, I fell off forty k just because like I got more into like Heresy oh, and Necromunda and then Brad. like Fantasy and those are just the games I prefer. But even like I I talk to like all my old friends who still play forty k and they seem like like legitimately mad about things that are going on in the game like all yeah, the time. But did they did they, <laughs> but did they did they play regularly in ninth edition? Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. I believe. I don't know. Oh. I, mean, I, I wasn't playing. With, I wasn't playing with them, so I don't know for sure. But I thought they were. If if you I know. may, yeah, I think the uh, the forty k views being down may it may not be because of forty k. I've been why I watch other channels that produce completely non miniatures related content, and like across the board, views are down. Yeah. And I think that might be in part because YouTube's uh, new ad push has been insane. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I've been hearing. I know a lot of people that are not watching YouTube anymore, and the ones that are are paying for premium. So I'll I'll tell you this: I don't know if it's because of the ad change. I don't see the ads. I don't control the ads. But my ad revenue has never been higher. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't know if it's the new algorithm or is the I old world. Know. It, I think it's either the old world and the new algorithm, honestly, both of them. They're, they're playing way more ads now, so you're probably getting 
more. Yeah, it used to be you used to be you get like a 15 second ad before video. Now I get like two 30 Yeah, seconds. they appear in doubles now. Yeah, it's always two now instead of one, and it drives me up a damn wall. That's why I have an ad blocker. That's right, YouTube. Ad blocker. <laughs> you know that's four pennies out of my pocket, right? Every time you say that. Steve. Steve. Yeah. I will. I can afford to send you four pennies. <laughs> That's one thing. I, I can just go into my socks. Okay? Is, it, is it is it to the point where I should take ads off of the live stream? No, 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 no. You need to keep the ads on there. You That's that's just free free money. Don't ever do that. It's annoying, no. but it's free money for you. And that's well, what we I make I make good ad revenue on the, the, the edited down re-upload of a stream. Uh, that's That has been a already proven successful um, change I've made to the channel. Yeah, no, that, that, that's fine on the re-uploads. I could care less. Is there, that's, is there a, that's just money for you. Is Sorry, there like no, a you're... setting to make it so that like channel members don't see ads? Is that even like a thing? They're no, I wish. I wish. Um, yeah, I can. That's... You know, what, let me just that's check something. Thing, if a, I, yeah. I wonder if I even make any like significant ad revenue on a live stream. Well, uh, YouTube isn't supposed to show ads on channel members. They're not supposed to. But they oh no, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to. They do, but like it's like one an hour. Mm. So, it's like I said, I don't feel the ads as a member, the ads don't feel bad on the live stream. But I would just say, like, YouTube views are down in general because of how yeah. egregious their ads are getting. Yeah. And it's the same thing with most streaming platforms. I mean, if you even look at Netflix, drops so many ads now compared to what it yeah, used to I, do. Yeah, I can't stand that nonsense. It drives me up a wall. Disney Plus, they only do their stuff in theirs, but they do more than Netflix does for their own crap. Amazon Prime just like switched. I, to, just like, hey, we do ads now. I was like, what? <laughs> you, you're Amazon Prime. The whole point of Amazon Prime was no ads. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so free, I, free movies. I'm, I make about 20, 25 bucks in ad revenue during a live stream. That's, yeah, I'd rather. So that's that, that. that's that's how much money is that? That's um let's let's say twenty twenty. Like, it's one hundred sixty bucks a month. I'm making on ads during the stream. If I cut those out, um, I mean that's that's well that's that one that, box that, Marines. that that's that's money that like that that's that that's almost half of my editing bill. That's like yeah. a box of Marines right there, buddy. No, we will try to that. That's revenue I don't get. I, like, would, I gotta I pay. Would, but if you're making that much on it, I wouldn't. But it's only twenty. Yeah, you're... No, I mean, if you're making over a hundred a month on ads, no, that's no, no, worth on, keeping. no, no, over a hundred a month on just the ads while we're live. Yeah, that's yeah, no, where we get it. We're saying like that's. I would just leave them. You, I'd, I'd leave them too because that's that's good income to to boost the channel. I, I don't, I don't think you're gonna see. I don't care enough of a difference removing them yeah, no well uh, if I they're if they're annoying I wonder, I wonder, they're not, like, right? so I'm not, yeah i'm not saying this is the way it is but i'm just wondering like and not necessarily even this stream but like just in general like streams because like if people are like watching something and they're like they're just you know they're zoned out and they're going on and then like an ad pops up like that might be like oh I'm, I'm watching this. They might get like knocked out of it and then just stop watching because they're like, oh, well, that's yeah. the thing. Like, so, oh, I'm, hey, I'm, look what time it is. I got to go. You know, or, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like if you're watching a re upload and the ad comes on, you miss nothing. Ad ends, you're back to the video. But yeah, yeah. I'm still streaming when you're watching the ad. You're missing exactly. stuff. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's the only thing I don't like about it during actual streams. Like a re upload, I could care less. But like, yeah, if you're going to watch the actual stream, you do miss things and it's annoying. Yeah, and that's what I, I'm saying. Like, maybe someone who like would have subscribed, you know, channel member might like have stopped watching when an ad rolled. But how, I, how would we, how would you measure that? How would you I could that? play the weird YouTuber game, which I've been uncomfortable with, where I can be like, "Hey, man, as soon as we get five members in a stream, I'll turn the ads off." Yeah, you could you do could, that. Yeah, you, know? you yeah. have a goal on there, like hey, I just you know, don't like, like for one month and see what happens. I guess. Yeah, I'll try that next stream. That's that's the best thing you can do is just experiment with it. Do it for a month. See what if you get more people joining, or you get less people joining. You could do it's a all... poll on one of the streams. Yeah, that too. You'd just be like, "Hey, how do you Can feel about the ads?" Polls like, yeah. don't. They, they don't they, give they, you they accurate information. They, yeah. they get memed on. Yeah. yeah, they mainly do get memed on. You're right. 
do one, no, not the Discord. I'd say do a Discord poll, but. Mm -hmm. Well, you can. No, Zid, I can't even do that. You can't I, even I, turn, so you can't even turn it off. Oh, I can turn, I can turn off ads, but I can't schedule oh. them. Um, oh. like, if I had, if I had a sponsor, I can choose when those come on and off. Mountain Miniatures, sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, sponsored by Bush's Bakery. Or NordVPN. I turn all those down. No, no, I, 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 I wanted to be some. I wanted to be some vague thing, like Bush's Baked Beans. <laughs> I would, I would. Farmer hot dogs. I would let Bush's Baked Beans sponsor Mountain Miniatures. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> or Wolf Chili. Mm, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Chili. Chili. So good. I need to go get some more of that. Just like these vague sponsors. <laughs> I just, I just want the weird. I want no, no app games. I won't put any app game sponsorships. Not even the Warhammer trading card apps. You know what? Uh, you need, you need a okay, I would. I would put. Yeah, but I do because they aren't bad. They're just all pay to win, and I hate that. I, I will put no app game. I will put no app game sponsorships that aren't Warhammer related. And that's. I think it's my only line right now. Oak Zero would probably be the only thing that I would ever sponsor this with the amount of advertising they get from Steve. Who? Oak Zero. Oak Zero. They don't care about me. I'm switching over to water. Oh, good. This will last a week, Pops. Yeah, yeah I, I have to stop I, drinking. I switch over to fizzy blast. water. It, help. it, it helps a lot. Yeah. Josh, I, I am sponsored by Mini Wargaming, man. They let me use their studios for free. I, they, I have their, their, what do you call it? Um, you guys sponsor each other. I actually least, make I make decent money right? from uh, um, the, the the coupon code Mountain Ten. Like yeah. when you guys use my link or my my coupon code, um, the ten percent you save, I I get that. Like sorry, um, I get ten percent of everything you buy. What's that? What is that uh, coupon code again, Steve? Mountain Ten for everything in the rank and flank section and on uh, MiniWarbyForge dot com. That's right. You guys have been buying bases like freaking crazy and thank you <laughs> i might have to do another big order because i got my tomb kings covered but eventually i'll have my dark elves build so out. now is a good time uh they are they are super caught up like you're the, the yeah, weight is going to be minimal right now now oh, that I'm now so that we're gonna, far behind on that project but... <laughs> yeah fair but now that we're caught up we have all extra sorry they got extra employees we're gonna start pushing ads again so it's going to explode again. So there might be a way. So now's a good time if, you want, if you're thinking about it. What you're saying is I go into random streams and make a thing and paste it in chat. It says, hey, 10% off with Mountain 10 on miniwargamingforce.com. Go get it. What's the relationship? Yeah. What's the relationship uh, Mini Wargaming and Mountain Miniatures? Well, I work for them still. Uh, they won't let me not work there. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, no, I, I work one day a week for Mini Wargaming. And in return, they give me a paycheck and I get to use their studios. And Matt's like a good buddy. Yeah. And you and you're he knows you'll always you'll pick up more days if it's like a narrative campaign. Or oh something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you get to be in the narrative campaign, which is yep. a bonus for me. And Matt's currently working on an old world campaign that's going to cross. Scarry's going to be involved. Matt's going to be involved. Luke and I are going to be involved. Guests will be able to be involved, and it will cross into uh, this channel as well. The supposedly. Uh, Dave is going to be involved too. Supposedly. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. That's true. Dave will be involved. Dave's just never in the country. He's like in Poland right now. Yeah, I've noticed that. He's always gone now. Like, I don't know what he's doing in Poland. But I mean, Dave has always been that get up and go guy. Yeah. You know? He travels and does all like the, um, he does, like, the he manufacturing all, stuff. Y'all are the mini wargaming. He's your hype man for yeah. mini wargaming. He is the hype man for mini wargaming. And it's worked out very well. Well, Victor, I'm going to make sure I'm going to budget to be able to go to all the major events moving forward. So if you're ever close to an event, you can come by. I just remembered another correct no, way. To... <laughs> I just remembered another correct way to say something, Steve. What's that? Spiders. Spiders. That's the, that is the correct way. But yeah. could, it is also acceptable to say spoder. Spoder too, yeah. Spoder like is Spoder. actually more acceptable. Spoder and Spiders. Wait, there's a Warhammer the Old World trading card? Wait, wait, TTG? Wait, they made a... Wait, what's TTG? 
Train card, yeah. Tabletop Trading. game. Tabletop game. Tabletop game. Oh my okay. god. No, there, there was a, there was a Warhammer. So D and D. There was a Warhammer card game like a long time ago. That was a yeah. Thing. There was an Age of Sigmar one. There's 40k one for like barely any time because it the, the, it was really bad for the actual trade card game. And then now all they have is um all these like combat kind of trading card games. They're good, but they're just the magic you... crossover was the best 40k yes, card. Yes, that is the best 40. But I, don't 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 talk about that when I'm around. Right, I'm gonna have to yell at Steve again. I'm really good at uh, shuffling, doing minimal damage. No, Steve, you put sleeves those cards are in sleeves. for dorks. <laughs> you, I sleeve up my cards. Oh, my I play Iron here. Man Magic the Gathering. That's not what that is, Steve. Iron Man Magic the Gathering doesn't mean you don't. Put I sleeves play on. real Man Magic the Gathering. No, you play. I play tough around you that yeah. loves magic. magic. I play. Yeah. Don't be so sensitive. You, we. It's not magic a sensitive. Gathering. Thing. He plays these cards aren't my magic. Gathering. That's right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Jeez. It's just you very okay, thing that drives. It's the things that grind your gears in life. I'm sorry. You know what grind? I let it go you. too far. Let it go too far. <laughs> it's got a serenity now, you know. The inner peace. Just Come on. think about when, my when, triple sleeve cards that are worth more than Steve's when, channel. When I played Magic the Gathering as a kid, we'd have extra so, lands in our hand with a marker written on them. This counts as a craw worm. Because craw worm is the best yeah. thing in the game. And we have yeah, multiple craw worms. That was worms back in, in 1855, deck. okay? This times have changed. <laughs> Now, when you put it, and you can put that in the sleeve and just write Quar Worm on the sleeve without ruining the card. Quar Worm. Quar Worm. Quar Worm. Quar Worm. Quar Worm. Quar Worm. I'm going to go now. I'm hungry. I don't know if I can do I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you can. Keep, keep, keep um, staying. No, you're, you're staying, Steve. You're not getting away this time. No, I'm actually starving. No, no I don't care. You, you, uh, I mean, no, I don't want to say that. That's mean. Okay, bye. I will. I have to. I have uh, editing due to upload the re-uploads for the stream tomorrow. Uh, there will be a handheld game uploaded did tomorrow you, for tomorrow. Did Go you ahead. just say you have an editor, Steve? No. So my editor edits the handhelds, and I edit the. Um, you were I just heard. talking about it was for a handheld tomorrow. So it if you a live re-upload, no, no, I'm just I'll I'll rephrase for people like Alan Cotton. I'm, I'm just the crayons pushing a little too far up in his nasal cavity. Can't quite hear. No, no, so it's not there today. <laughs> it's somewhere. A couple of videos Friday. going up tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys. See ya. <laughs> bye. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, thanks, bye. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I miss doing this. Oh, I miss this stuff. Oh, look, they.